Coming to you from the United Design Guild Streamlabs in Bergen County, New Jersey, this is United Design Guild Live. All right, what's up, everybody? Hey, everyone. So, um, do you want to, uh, you want to Yeah, this? so I guess, uh, so this is like our little pilot episode of our, our live streams for United Design Guild. Um, so this one's clear. We're going to have like a lot of hiccups, I'm sure. There might be some problems. The world this might the end. Computers episode. might crash. This is the pilot. Yeah. You know how Breaking Bad had that great pilot episode? Ours isn't going to be as good as that, but it'll be okay. That one didn't hook me, to be honest. Re- what? No. Dude, that's it so took me. Him. It took me maybe four episodes for four? Breaking Bad. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, anyway. Wow. So, um, so I'm Mike Sulik. I am the online community leader for the United Design Guild, and I'm joined by... Kevin Green. Who is... Um, the Young Blood Community Leader, and yeah, wow, what, we are so, the two uh, newest members of the board. Actually, we are. We are. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, Janelle. There's Janelle too. Anyway, hey, we got the whole gang. Yes. So, what do you do, Kevin? What What are you other than Young Blood Community Leader? What are Who are so, you? In the famous words of that band, who said, "Who are you?" Is um, I am a um, graphic designer. I specialize in branding. Um, and I do like illustration, kind of like a side, more of like a passion project type thing. That's cool. Um, yeah, I don't do too much illustration professionally. Um, it's funny because this is all about digital illustration. That is, that's true. That is correct. Um, so what are you? What are we going to be doing tonight? So tonight we're going to start off working in um, on the iPad Pro, um, doing some digital illustration with the pencil, Apple Pencil. Um, and the app that we're going to be using is going to be Procreate, and that's what you see here on the screen, the blank, um, the blank page on Procreate. Um, we'll keep repeating what that is, too, yeah, because people um, jump in later exactly. on. Exactly. Um, and then we're going to be, uh, I'm going to push that illustration to um, Adobe Illustrator, and then we're going to switch over to that and work off of the MacBook Pro. Um, yeah. So ideally what we're going to see is your full process from not only where you start in a drawing, but how you set up, how you get ready, yeah. how you get in the mindset. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll go on. So cool. uh, just for this one, for this first stream, we're going to have this up uh, archived on Twitch for two weeks. It'll be on our YouTube channel. Cool. But then from, this, from now going forward, uh, after this one, all the archive streams will be available on the UDG website for members, members only. So if you don't catch it live, become a member and you can watch all of our past streams, all of our good stuff. Cool. So, do you want to just start us off? What are we going to sure. do? Sure. Um, what are you going to mention? Well, let's mention some few other things that are coming up for oh, yeah. UDG. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? So, our, I believe our next event Our is, next event is the event. Is it's like yeah. that big. Um, so, for those of you that don't know, United Design Guild used to be the Art Directors Club of New Jersey. Um, and the Art Directors Club of New Jersey has been around since 1961. Um, Storied franchise. Yes. Um, and we decided that it needed a complete reboot um, to be rebranded entirely. Um, so we scrapped New Jersey from the name. We scrapped Club from the name. Scrapped Art Directors. We scrapped, we scrapped every letter. So. Um, yeah, pretty much. Um, so now it's the United Design Guild. And we have a lot of really exciting things coming up. Um, the next event is October 23rd. It's a Monday night, and it's our like relaunch party. Um, we're going to have... Todd um, Radom. We'll be doing a Todd little Radom. talk. We'll have unlimited pizza and appetizers at this yep. great pizza place. So um, that's all awesome. Yeah, and they have a great uh, craft beer selection. Um, the best. You can get they, they had a pumpkin takeover the last time. Really? It was great. That's dope. Um, so you can get your tickets for that on the United Design Guild website. That's just um, uniteddesignguild.com. That's all. All right, so let's get in. Um, oh, one more thing. So what this is is the live streaming. It's if you are not in New Jersey, which is where a lot of our events are taking place right now, this is kind of like the uh, to take place of that. So you can jump online when we're doing a stream, and ideally these are like little workshops and little lessons that you can uh, be a part of. And since it's on Twitch, you know, we got, uh, hey, Joe said greetings from Elmwood Park. He's, oh, he's like hey. six feet that way. So, Kevin, it's, take us off. Take, right. us, take us there. Take us so, there. Bring us there. Let's see. Um, so, do you want to... Uh, hey, if anyone in the chat has a suggestion for something Kevin should draw, just yeah. let us know, too. Yeah, absolutely. We'll do that. Um, I'm going to say hi to Joe. Hi, Joe. Joe is actually, like, ten feet away. I said six feet, ten feet. Oh, you did say that. It's probably a little more accurate to say. It shows feet. how much I listen to you. Mm, not, um, at all, no, not at all. Not at all. So, you only draw skulls. That's like the one thing um, you know. When I, draw. when I need to uh, kind of like get into the groove, yeah, I draw a skull from time to time. From time to time. Um, 
So again, uh, what are so you what you using? What are you using right now? So the, what are you on? What I'm is this? on a show the show a new iPad Pro, uh, 10.5. That's the new size, um, new size that Apple came out with, and I'm using the Apple Pencil. So this app is called Procreate, um, one word, and yeah, it's it's a raster based illustration. So no vector involved. Um, it's kind of like think of it like you're painting in Photoshop. Um, which I've seen some people and, associate with that. Yeah, since since I've gotten it, it has completely taken over my need for a sketchbook. I don't use. Um, yeah, I mean, I haven't. I, it's only been like a month or so. It's crazy. You used to carry around this like massive backpack and this pack of pens and pencils yeah, and actually, sketchbooks, I have that. and yeah, now all on. you have is this iPad. It's kind of crazy. So just plug an app. What I used not? to carry around was this with markers, Copics. It's and that's it, what that's probably like three hundred dollars worth of worth of stuff right there. It's a lot. It's like our supplies are not cheap. A lot. So iPads aren't cheap either. But so all of that became this um, essentially, plus the iPad, of course. But I mean, that's the sketchbook. So anyhow, um, we're in Procreate, and these are our our like default sketching tools. And Procreate is that a free app or is that paid? I believe it's nine ninety nine in the App Store. That's not bad. Um, so let's see. So just go to town. Show all me, right, a, cool. show me a skull since that's all you know. A skull. Oh, okay. um, I'm going to use could, like, one of my favorite. Paper. Yeah. So these are all like the these are the default brushes. They're pretty cool. Sketching. I like to start off with this just six B pencil, and it's crazy how much this actually looks and feels like when you're drawing with it. I'll zoom in on that. It really looks like real pencil. That's it's crazy. crazy. Um, the canvas size that I I just chose um, like the screen size of the iPad. So. So, yeah, it's a. Did it's it take a, you a while to adjust from going from all sketchbook to no, just straight up iPad? Not at all. Really? Not at all. Um, I feel like that would throw me off forever. So what's cool even like trying it in the Apple Store? It throws me off. Yeah, I no, know, I got used to it rather quickly. Um, so like Photoshop and Illustrator and whatever else, um, this app has layers, um, and those layers also have um, opacity types uh, or blend modes. Um, so I'm going to keep this one on normal for now, and we could do some sketching. Um, so yeah, skull. Let's see. Skull. Draw skull. Yeah, I always start off with just like where an eye socket would be. Start off with the eye sockets. Honestly, I mean, isn't yeah. that where you start? Like, oh no, I guess you draw like a full head when you're just drawing like a person. I always start with the eyes. Too. Same. It's me. And I know that like you need to like ground yourself somewhere. Like traditionally, that's not correct, and you shouldn't do that. That's you know, yeah. like traditionally, you shouldn't start with the eye. For some really? reason, yeah. I mean, uh -huh. you're always well, let's let's say I was going to draw a figure right now, or at least a portrait. You'd want to start off like this with kind of like an yeah. outline of like the general shape. Kind of imagine like the the shape of the yeah, skull. Yeah, you do like you're crossing. So yeah, Joe's saying where, that he he sketches way more now on an iPad than he ever did in a sketchbook. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Really, for yeah. how much you sketch, dude. I that's the problem. I haven't been sketching that much. And I feel like this has completely like brought me back. That's crazy. Weird, I know. I wasn't expecting it at all. But hey, so traditionally, like you'd want to start off something like this, which... Oh, Wheeler's on. Oh, yeah. I can imagine you could, you know. But anyway, we'll, Hi, we'll Bridget. Use this. Hi, how you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> um, let's see. So... It is just timely too because Halloween's coming up. Yeah, yeah. Didn't yeah, even think of that. that. Well, yeah, I actually thought of it. Oh, well, I just figured you always dress skulls, so you're just, I do, you're just I doing do you. Dress skulls a lot. So, um, <laughs> and what do you? You're just using a two B pencil. What was that? Yeah, so that's the the two B pencil oh, with its default settings. You can go in here, and it's pretty cool. Oh, dude, that's um, crazy. So you can really mess around with, like. All the settings of these brushes. Yeah, it's so nuts. Um, they even show you what the source is. So this is like the grain. <laughs> oh like God. that's what makes the texture of the pencil. Now, how cool is that? Is there something where you could draw a pencil stroke and then smudge it, like how you mm -hmm. would with your yeah. oily I, finger? I know you can do that. Actually, I think that might be what this tool is. Yeah. Oh, that's cr that. That's insane. There's actually um, so in Procreate, Procreate has settings that your um your hand doesn't accidentally draw anything. Now when you're using the pencil, it's only That's pencil. really cool. I would like a and setting... you can actually set it. So the smudge, that's what you're about to say, right? No, So that no. your smudging can be done with, what is it? <laughs> I was gonna say, I'd like a setting for like graphite on your palm yeah. to be getting on. Yeah. Mm. Be realistic. 
Uh, continue your skull. Let's see what you anyway. got going on here. Anyway. Um, Wheeler says you love your skulls. I do. She knows it. How many years, how many decades have you been drawing skulls? Like, real talk. I've been drawing skulls. It's definitely been decades, since, right? That's not even a joke. Bridget Wheeler allowed me to draw skulls in class. You hear that? You hear that, Wheeler? <laughs> That's crazy. So, what is that? It feels like 30 years. It got ago. darker. What happened? What do you mean? Your pencil. Oh, that's... Oh, so, yeah, that, I should mention that. Um, the pencil is pressure sensitive. So oh, so you were you going to draw... It? Yeah, I'm going to draw some lines right here. When... I'm going to start off light and then get harder and harder. Like, I'm putting down more pressure oh on the page. Oh, my God, that's so cool. And, like, if I'm drawing lightly... That's why I'm telling you. It feels... If it, it honestly feels yeah. like... I might get one of these. Yeah, I know. I, 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 oh, I, I, man. This, again, I know you're going iPad to. Pros. Go to AppleStore.com and, <laughs> and oh just God. get one right now. It's great. Since 2004, she says. That's great. Yeah, that's, that's a long that's while. Right. Oh, my God. So what's really cool with this app, like let's say I have um, this space where I just draw that X. And I want to fill that with a color. Oh, yeah. Let me see um, this. Let me I can go up here to this circle where, where my color picker is. You're just going to drop that in, aren't you? That, that's exactly what Oh, I mean. man. So, and then you could like fill in the rest. That's so cool. It saves a lot of time. When it comes and again, to this is all default brushes, but you can you, know brushes? you can yeah. buy brushes for Procreate? Yes. Um, and actually, Procreate's site, there's forums um, where a lot of people make their own brushes and they like distribute them. And some people download them and like make edits to them, re-export so them, cool. share them again. Yeah, it's pretty oh sweet. Oh my god, dude, what a time to be alive. I know. Right? <laughs> you don't even need to sharpen the pencil. Have you accidentally tried to sharpen the pencil? No. But, <laughs> just no. Just wait. Apple will come out with a product to sharpen your yes, Apple pencil. Yes, sharpener. $600. They should have, for this side, which you're tempted to like turn it over and erase with that side. That'd be cool. The so the side, this side is like the, uh, charging like an cable. iPhone cable. Yeah. Um, and you can charge it that way. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, so it's like sticking out of your iPad, so it's like a javelin. I know, but there's also this adapter that you could just use an iPhone cable into the wall, so that's fine. Cool. You know, um, Apple has been doing some weird design choices, like the wireless mouse. You charge it on the underside of it. Yeah, the so new, you can't the use it. Oh, Magic Mouse know, Two. It's I don't the know. weirdest thing. What's wrong, Apple? Like, been making come on. some mistakes recently. Like I'll buy everything you make, but come on. Like that. That is probably the worst design choice, like decision I've seen ever in a ever. long, long time. Um, any requests? Uh, out there for like drawings. I was just doing a skull for for the hell of it for fun. Can you make a charging dock out of a sharpener? <laughs> that'd be fun. that's what uh, that'd that's be what cool. I was gonna get at, and I totally forgot. Yeah. How about you draw cool. him smoking an apple pencil? Um, that's my request for me right here. Smoking. Um, I said apple pencil, and then you just ignored my request. Yeah, yeah, I did that. Uh, yeah. Anyone? Hey, uh, where's my camera? If you want Kevin to draw something, just let us know, and he'll draw it. He's he's easy like that. Within means, within reason. I mean, let's not. <laughs> so Joe says he, he tries racing with the back sometimes. Yeah, I know. I'd probably like, um, do that to no end. So, what do you start off with here? Like, what are some of your your things in uh, in this? Oh, whoa! <laughs> I know, I'm like getting like giddy over brush strokes. Okay, so what do I start off? So if I'm sketching something, and I mean, I guess I could be happy with this. Film that, yeah, film that nose. It's a little, like, scarce, even for a skeleton. Um, what's great with this is that I can um, lower my opacity uh, on this layer, and it'll act as, like, a light room, or, a, sorry, a light box. Mm -hmm. So I can bring down the opacity oh, so on so you, like, trace over your own work. Yeah, exactly. That's and, cool. And then I'll start a new layer. And you could, you could name these two, you know. Will says that the Wacom pens erase with the back. Yeah, do they? Is that true? I, I had no idea. That's really cool. I had um, the first one, the first walk company. But what's weird with those is that the tip is like a rubber. It's like a, oh, a yeah, larger, it's, yeah. it's not a small point. So like this, this is almost, it's pretty much analogous to a pencil. Yes, but that, exactly. it's like a little it was rubbery. Because it thing. had this weird like drag on the screen. Yeah. I feel like you're just yeah. smearing your screen a lot. Um, so I'm going to change this to inking and <laughs> draw, to draw him like one of your French girls. Is that Joe? I don't know who it is. It's Z Z S W Wilkinson. Draw me like one of your French girls. Oh, Zach Wilkinson. Oh, yeah. Zach Wilkinson. There you go. So draw, draw, like, draw, draw, draw the skull like a. How do you draw a skull like a French? Zach girl? and I, like a... Zach and I shared a room at Creative South, and oh, I wow. did draw him. In fact, like one of my French girls. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, so it's a callback. 
No. Okay. Um, okay. Someone's asking, does this only work... Uh, the Apple Pencil only works on the iPad, or does it work with other tablets? It only works on the iPad. That makes sense. As far as I know. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe this is wrong. iPad Pro, so would it work on a regular iPad? No. Okay, so it's only iPad Pro. Yeah, the, uh, the Pencil was released when the iPad Pro was released, and a large part of the Pro being the Pro is the compatibility. <laughs> so. Zach is reminiscing. It says lots of booze. You drink? I, Kevin. I don't know what he's talking about. I've never touched on it. All right, Zach. Um, no. So right now you're using a, was it an ink over your pencil? Yeah, so this is pretty much an inking. Um, it's called the technical pen. What I really like about this, and you can see it in the preview here, is that it tapers really well. Oh, yeah. Um, and you'll see that taper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You'll see that oh, taper in so the brush Oh, so how much pen. does the brush taper? Can you pick, like, the width of the brush and how much it like, oh, yeah, tapers yeah, yeah. down? So place? that's all here in the this is insane. stroke taper. You see that stroke? Like, for like, 10 bucks, this is ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Um, no, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to leave that there. You know what? Let's try this. So let's say I want to make this circle, right? Which I was, you know. Pat's like, watching it on the bus. I'm going back to the. <laughs> I'm going Hi, back to the. How's it going? Pen. And you can see that, like, since my hand is jittery, I'm not really getting that line that I want. What I could do is go into the brush settings and put up the streamline, right? And you'll see that. What is streamlined? Does oh, it streamline it? It kind of like magnetizes. That's the so line. streamlined. It is so. It is. It's almost self-explanatory. Zach wants you to do an episode of Creatoring. Oh, really, dude? I was listening to it yesterday. That's a yes. That's a um, yes. Yeah, I love that episode with Lenny. It really, it fills the void of like not having you and Daniel and Lenny in my life. Um, wow. Yeah, that's deep, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man, it's um, touching. Yeah, that's man, I would totally be down for an episode of Creatoring. There you go. Look at that. Stop yeah, connection. Hell yeah. It says hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. If it's not a... What is that? Hey, if it's not a hell yeah, it's a no. There right? you go. There That's you right. go. The Lenny episode is really good, Will says. It, it was fantastic. Will the Kevin episode be better? Um, I'm going to challenge ooh, Lenny and say, ooh, ooh. you goddamn right it will be. Wow. Mm -hmm. That sounds like uh, fighting words. Yeah. Yeah, I, I fought Lenny before. Have you? It didn't fare well for him. No. Um, I like the uh, 3D you're adding to your skull. Yeah, that's nice, right? That's nice. That's real nice. Um, <laughs> how many people we got? Uh, hey, don't worry about that. Oh, man. <laughs> that's one thing uh, Mike said. <laughs> he couldn't tell me Dude, during the look, stream. This is Bridget's kid. No way! <laughs> that's so, cool. Can we share right. that some? We'll, oh, we'll get it somehow, but our, our high school uh, commercial art and design teacher is showing her kid taking the class right now learning from oh, the best is, oh we have to watch would, what we say yeah um we'll, we'll be good don't worry don't worry yeah, we'll be good. We'll that's amazing that's, that's awesome great. Great. that's so cool oh so you're gonna be better than john contino he says <laughs> yeah oh do you, do you yeah? see this skull? oh yeah do you see it? i don't know add a little cross hatching to it that's kind of your thing now isn't yeah, it? yeah yeah all right Just cross -hatch let that. me get my lines down first. all right all right I'm going to kind of breeze through this because I feel like people are getting bored, so... Can Procreate export to Vector? Or just, so no. So this is what... Yeah, I... Um, this I'll, is my I'll show you actually. So these are the file types you can send it as. And that PDF file type is raster. So that's not a Vector PDF. Um, it's strictly raster illustration. It's like you're using mm. Photoshop to do your painting. I'm going to link it here. Drawing. So you can keep talking. I'm going to link the picture. Cool. Um, you do you. Forgot I have access to technology. Yeah, right in front of me. It's amazing, isn't it? Ah, uh, scary sometimes. Should we give this guy like a? Do skulls have butt chins? They should. What because, forms a butt chin? Because like, the butt chin is because of the skull. Is that true? Yeah, it has to be. <laughs> I don't know. It's not muscle making a butt chin. I've never seen a, a, a skull with a butt chin. I don't know how to send it until back, right so. now. This is this is like a bull, like it got shot in the face. Butt chin or like like I got a little divot in there like real butt chin wow like I like the divot I like the dimple idea so uh, again I I kind of like sandbag you for a second mm -hmm. so this can this is raster only this, raster this only. can never work in vector that's correct and what is the is there a vector equivalent to procreate um yes Adobe has um Adobe has its own. Uh, iOS apps, and the one that would probably be your best bet is Adobe Draw. 
Adobe which Drive. I've not really gotten into yet. I haven't really um, used it that much. Um, but it seems pretty powerful. I know that I th- believe it's uh, actually. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say. I'm not sure. Who, I'm not gonna say. Not sure who. We don't know who's it. watching right now. No, it's okay. I thought. Um, I know that. So let me just explain a few other apps while we're while we're working on this. There's also this app called AstroPad. A lot of professional. AstroPad um, looks awesome. Yeah, I just started the trial, which I'm probably paying for it right now. Um, <laughs> How much is that? It is. That's a I believe it's seventy a year. Seventy, okay. Which isn't that bad. I what mean, are you I getting with you, it though for seventy a year? So what it does is it mirrors your computer screen onto your um, iPad, and you can draw with the pencil with all of your pressure sensitivity, etc., straight in to Photoshop and Illustrator, whatever else. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty much taking the place of your Cintiq. Um, That's insane. Yeah, I wonder if their business is hurting. A Wacom? I I think I yeah I can only imagine that they probably are. Um, yeah, Zach says Adobe Jaws pretty good. Vectorizer is good too. I never heard of Vectorizer. Vectorizer, yeah. I'll check it out. So what you may have just saw that I did, I brought up my Streamline because I was having like let's say this was down here. But you got the coffee jitters. Oh, it, oh, yeah. Drink some more coffee. You see that right here. It's like flat. <laughs> it's like they didn't turn it over as a, like, or it like dropped, gets, dropped as a kid or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna delete. The, okay, on Procreate, you tap with two fingers and it erases. Three fingers, um, you redo. So I'm gonna go up here oh, and that's cool. Streamline this like seventy four percent. It's fine. Um, and when I draw that again, it's kind of like streamlined, you know. So I'm just gonna do that one more time. I'm not really happy with that. Starting to look like one of the. Uh, I don't want to say. It was a movie spoiler. I was about to say. I won't do it. Which one? I don't want it because if I say it, it'll. It was a bad movie. Is it a Indiana movie? Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Oh. Yeah, I know. I know. Dude, they know. ruined that they, franchise. Hey, I just counted it as a trilogy. That was the worst movie of what was it, 2007? Somewhere around there, yeah. yeah. Maybe 2008. Hey, someone in, uh, in the chat, when did Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Hey, Joe! When did Kingdom of the Crystal Skull come out? Hey, Joe! Hey, Ma! <laughs> yeah, he's, he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Um, he's good. Uh, so, answer. Joe says he can't find Vectorizer in the App Store. Is that like, um, is that for iPad or is that for something different? Well, that's something that uh, Zach asked, so let's see if Zach yeah. can answer that. <laughs> Will says the only thing worse than a spoiler is a movie reference to Crystal Skull. <laughs> it's, not, it's not even a movie. It's not even a movie. So. Oh, that's cute. You see, but like. You might oh, it's be, so weird you, how it's yeah. You're like, you see like that it's like it's, it's like weird. snapping, right? So yeah. I'm gonna bring this back down. Bring it on because down. it's not doing this crazy thing that I wanted to do, and I'm gonna redo that. I'm gonna keep drinking coffee. It's really good. Um, what's re- so we can just check that off to see what our skull looks like without. Um, I always love it with the sketch underneath. You know? I know like, it always yeah. looks so much better, right? Always, even when like in 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 the old days when you would sketch on paper, yeah, you draw a pencil and then yeah. ink over it. And I would, I would always um, love it with the pencil stuff in it. Yeah. So let's see. I'm gonna. What's really cool? Oh, that's what you did on the test one, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, what's all? This is an illustration I did like the night that I got the iPad, and um, you could see that the brush was very jittery. And that was pretty cool. Um, but let me, my favorite feature, my favorite thing about Procreate is that it automatically records. Oh, this is so cool. Your this is so, this is like worth the price period. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Like speed drawing is like the, <laughs> funny, it's another skull. I thought it was the one you just did. No. Nah. But what's cool is like the skull that I just drew, I didn't have to, um, I didn't have to set it to record. It That's does just it the thing it does. That's Always, so cool. with every project. Uh, so the app is called Vector Nader. Ah, uh, okay. I'm cool. wondering. Um, da, 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 da. So should we talk about coffee ears? This is another... This oh, is the, man. So let's, talk, let's, get real, let's get real for a second. We can discuss it while we watch. Uh, but before you get into that, does anyone have any, uh, any requests from Kevin for an illustration? Anyone? He'll do anything. He will draw anything. Within reason. Within, mm. We have children watching. Oh, we have children watching. So within reason. Um, oh, so this is so cool. This is cool, too, because you were working black and white before. This is nice. So show, hey, yeah. get some of the, the paint in there, too. So what is Coffee Wrist? So Coffee Wrist is something that 
me and other creatives struggle with. I'm trying to match what's when, on uh, screen. More so people that are always on the run. Right it doesn't now. have to be creatives. Anyone who's on the run and addicted to coffee like we are mm-hmm. um, has dealt with coffee risk. It, it's, when, um, it's when you're on the go with your to-go cup and your entire arm... Is like running with so coffee. You get that one bump in the road. It's, it's like all like burning your skull. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm going to play that one more time. Will um, has a question. He wants to know sure. when it's recording this time lapse, is mm-hmm. it recording like dead time when you're not moving? It doesn't. That's the awesome thing about it. Really? It doesn't. Yeah. It just cuts so that out. It just waits. That's cool. So it's only recording your brush strokes when you're actually working. That's you can, crazy. You can step away for 20 minutes. You can come back. You can close the app. You can actually come back to the project. Three months later, and it will continue. That's, that's yeah. so cool. Isn't that, so Sounds you'll see here that I started shading it, like cross-hatching it. Got thing. rid of that, and it was like, let me, let me try these uh, blending modes. So you'll see that that's, that's cool. the and color. Again, this is just the thing it does. Yeah. This app just does this. So I'm actually going to go into this project. Here we go. I'm going to show you the layer breakdown on this. Cool. And then um, we have a actually, request when you're done. Okay. I need to go back to this file to show you that. Um... So these are all the layers, which looks crazy to me now. I'm going oh to um, check insane. off all of these You're an insane and man. then show you what the like the process was. So that was the original sketch, right? And then I come up here to lines. I'm going to check that on. So that was my first thing. Then I tried hatching, which was that. Just that's a form so cool. of shading, right? Um, hatching is a form of shading. That's crazy. That is correct. <laughs> I've never that heard is, of that. That is correct. What about um, cross hatching? Oh man, now you're getting crazy. Uh, so no, I'm gonna stop. I decided to th- throw in some base layer color. Um, I got rid of that, and then we started doing some shadows. So that's this, and you'll see that the ones with the N is normal. The ones with the M on my shadows, that's where I have the multiply transparency, and when you're using anything like how can I explain what the multiply does? It kind of anything that's white gets knocked away. Yeah, I mean, uh, and anything that's gray tone, which is cool. Um, you, you can imagine grays showing up over your colors as um, just darker versions of that. So this dark brown you see on the cup is actually um, just gray. A saturated. Yeah. Or a Same thing on the, on like the the color of the hand. So that's yeah. just gray. And what uh what pens did you use to do this? Um, I believe the the sketching was the. The ones I was using earlier, um, I think the sketch layer was the 6B. That 6B. And then the lines were probably... I still can't get over how many options there Probably the technical pen. That skull that I was showing you earlier was definitely the ink bleed. I just like the uh, kind of the texture that had. <laughs> okay. Zach really wants you to stop talking about this and he has a request for you. Okay, Zach. Is there anything... Before we cut no. away from this lesson, is there anything else? No, I mean, I just wanted to show the, um, yeah, that's, the you, layers. You really put a lot of layers into this. That's yeah. crazy. I mean, some of these, of course, I didn't I end up using. I could delete that if yeah. I want to. Um, I added. Anyway, what is the request? Your request is a black cat firework style. Is it bad that I don't know what he means by What's firework, firework style? You could just start you don't with know a, either. Okay, you could just start with a black hat and we'll take her from there. What's firework style? I never. Is that like the tattoo kind of. I don't know. Anyway, um, let me show you this. So when you start a new canvas, you can start with the screen size, which is just your iPad screen. I, I use that for default. That's really high res. Wow. Default sketching, yeah. Um, you can create a custom canvas and then change um, your units of measurement, mm. which is pretty nice if you want to do a poster size or something. If you're in um, Britain and want to use centimeters. Anyway, so... Have you gotten a response from... No response. Oh, wait. We have, we have a link to an image. All right, you're gonna pull it no, up. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up this image. Come on. So for my go. sketch, oh, yeah, that's. Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of what I. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's do that. Do you um, want me to keep that up? Could you leave that open? Yeah, or just. Yeah, open it and then slide it over so you can see your feet. Yeah. Just make that one this one perfect. Um, on this sketch layer, I'm gonna use like a mid-tone gray. I could still mess with the opacity later. Bring it down. It's no problem. Um, Stump your iPad in the water. Start over. Yeah, like Re- just, just fresh scratch start. it. Fresh just, start. Just, Throw the water. Oh my it. god! That, you you scared know, you're, me you're, for a second. You're, you're that scared. was intense. So blow right. stuff up, dude. This cat is cool, man. It's a pretty cool cat. It's a cool. It's a cool cat. It's a cool cat. All right. So I'm just gonna start off with the, the, the shape of this cat. Cats usually do have a shape. Yes. Yes. I found. Also, otters are the next cat. Or raccoons. Otters are sea cats. Raccoons are the next cat, and then otters are the next raccoon. 
That's how pet breakdown is going to work. Funny. I thought you were starting with like the skull of the cat, and then you build a layer over it. That's the muscle. So, but does the cat have a butt chin? That's what I'm more concerned with. See, I don't. Do cats have? I guess they have chins, right? Yeah. This is the chin of the cat. What are you talking? about? Yeah, but that's more like ah. Uh, yeah, I guess. But do they have butt chins? I don't know. Bethany Heck has this whole book of just firework art. It's amazing. Like she has, she made a book or she owns the book. Because then she posts a lot of uh, books on her her Instagram and Twitter. I've never even heard of the style, but I'm digging it. Yeah, so is fire firework style? That's like a style. Where did it, where did it originate? If if anyone knows, what is it? What is it? Use the type too. I mean, in the end, draw some type behind it. Kevin Green style. That'll be the next thing. Not firework style. It'll be Green style. But everyone will get it wrong and spell it without the e. It'll make me happy. I like the, the glow on your face right now. That okay. iPad. Look at that iPad glow. That's the glow of someone that Guys, does not see sunlight. I did my hair for the he stream. He did his hair for the stream. I put on cologne for the stream. We went a little overboard. Black Hat is a brand of fireworks. Oh! It's not a style. It's oh. literally like that's the logo. Okay. That's good to know. China. It's from China. Yeah, it has some like Chinese vibes. Cool. That's good to know. If you see me looking to whatever direction it's at, I have my computer on this side. That's what that's what that is. I'm not talking to the wall. I'm pretty sure people can understand. That. No, I just I need to. You know, we we everything is exposed on this stream. That's kind of my rule. No, all the the curtains are all pulled back. Pay no attention to the man behind it. This is what we're doing. So you got a nice. Is that a pig or a cat? What are we doing? Man, this is a cat. Although it kind of oh. looks like a pig. Pig nose looks like this though, so. A little oinker. It doesn't have Chinese vibes. Eh. I mean, I could. You know, like, really know. like rowdy animal like that? I could. I don't know. I could see it in like you see it in like Chinatown or something. Like the, the, the like like vibrant animals and stuff, especially dragons. Like well, stuff. wait. Who said that? Zach said that. Um, I don't know. I who says it doesn't have? No. Uh, Will. Will says it doesn't have Chinese vibes. I feel like this illustration that Saxon does. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm assuming that's just the logo. Thanks, Jersey. Oh, wait, like Chinese food? Because it's a cat? <laughs> what? I, Will, I'm as confused as you. I've never heard of it. Will said that? Yeah. I don't know. We're, we, do, wait, are we allowed to have fireworks in here? Not in Jersey. We, we're allowed, like, sparklers, so I don't know much you about zoom, fireworks. Zoom in on that? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Um, Jersey gets sparklers and like sparklers pop rocks. <laughs> sparklers just became legal like on July second before before the July sale. Yeah, you it used to, well it always used to be you have to go over the border to Pennsylvania to buy fireworks, bring them over here, set them off illegally. No one really cares. I've never seen cops do anything about it. I would like for you, when you add color to this, make it uh, give, me, give me a black and red theme. Can you give me a nice yeah, black no, and red theme? No that. yellow. I'm not a fan of the yellow on this. I would like it if it was like let's let's punch it up. So this is orange and red and black. Let's yeah, go crazy. No, I'm digging that. Yeah, definitely. You gotta go uh, south to get fireworks. Yeah, like south in Jersey, or no, south like, like down south. Who's that? Zach. He's from. That uh, was Wheeler. Huh. And Bridget. She's also from the south. That's true. I don't know, like, I don't even know what fire, like, what I would buy. No, you can go like, to Pennsylvania for fireworks. Oh, yeah, I, I literally just said that. No. You're just tuning me out, aren't you? I mean, I rarely listen to you. So. Yeah, that's true. What? So we're going to switch it up from this original. I'm gonna add Are you some, done with uh, this? Yeah. Oh, sick. It's like an alley cat now. <laughs> so that's, it's like screeching. I can hear it screech yeah. in, my, in my head. Not in real life, that'd be insane. There's a bunch of fireworks stands in Georgia. Huh. And Carolinas, Wheeler says. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. Pennsylvania, it's all I've ever known. I feel like anywhere but Jersey. You're anywhere but Jersey. Any, what are, the, what are the things? I call them Pop Rocks. That's not right. What's the thing? It's the little bag with a rock in it, and you throw it in oh, it. Those I used to get as a kid in Jersey. Yeah. The, what are those? What are those called? Snappers? Poppers? Something bombs. Pop, bombs? 
Anyone know what I'm talking about? <laughs> it's a little, it's a little like, like paper bag with rocks or some something in it, and you throw it, and it goes pang. And it sounds like gunshots, and it would like freak the cops out. And it looks, it looks snaps? like snaps. I don't think it was snaps. Is that Jed? She got snaps. No, that was Will. Snaps, really? I thought it was something else. I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. Sense, yeah. Everyone, everyone says so. I'm. Whatever. I'll just go on doing me. Obey no rules. No? Zach, is this living up to your expectations? Is it, Zach? Is it good? I don't know. We're in a delay, so we'll find out. Freaks the cops out? I need to hear that story. Well, it's because, like, if you throw a bunch of them at once, it sounds like a gunshot, but, like, seven miles away. So cops are like, oh, was that a gunshot, or was it... Oh, I kept... I want to say Pop Rocks. Snaps. It's always the thing. Like my, uh, I, I, I hear, I hear, I hear the radio chatter. So what's happening? What did you just do? So I just drew this cat, and is it visible enough? Um, I drew this cat, and I brought down the opacity to um, fifteen percent on that layer. I'm going to start another layer above that, and that's going to be called, uh, I guess, lines. layer two. <laughs> layer two, yes. <laughs> um. And then I'm going to change my I'm done with this. pen to the technical a pencil. Pen. Oh. Um, so, Joe, it's not that they mistake it for... It, it's it, uh, eh, Whatever. It's not an interesting story at all. So, when you're rotating that your canvas like that, is that for better... Um, it's like you're rotating your sheet yeah, of paper. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. Yeah. It's amazing how much darker it's showing up. Can you make that? Oh, by the darker? way, um, it's like barely showing up on the screen. Your sketch layer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. I don't know. It probably looks like he's just drawing for like freehanding it. I'm gonna wait for the delay and see if that changes it. Are we just gonna sit here and? Oh, well, you can see it right there. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, you're good. You're good. You're you're, you're Gucci guy, even. Um. Hi. I don't know who like um who people are yet. So B L Y N X Y. Hi, say hi. Hello. Oh man, that was. Terrible. Oh, by the way, our um, your brush size is over here. Oh, that's what that. Thing and is. your that's... brush opacity is over here. So I'm gonna keep that boosted up. I'm Boost gonna it. make this as large as possible, actually. Um, oh, Ryan. So... Uh, Ryan from uh, Weapons is on. Hey, Ryan. Oh, what's up, How's man? Going? How's the world? Gonna undo that. Bring this back down. There we go. Cops in New Jersey are all groundhogs. Yeah, sure. They relive the same Man. day over and over again. <laughs> one of the yeah, groundhog. I mean, one of my best friends is a police officer. I know all the police officers in this town. ASL? <laughs> funny, funny one, Joe. Summon anything lately? No, no, the rule of no. the house is no summoning. Yeah. Um, we did decide, though. Oh, yeah. This on is our very idea. last day here as residents, we were going to When finally... the show gets canceled. We're going to finally use a Ouija board in the house. I don't even know if I want to... Uh, I mean, it's a very... like yeah. Blood magic. Blood magic. Um, I don't know. I would never... I don't think I would... Even as a joke, I wouldn't want to miss the Ouija board. It freaks me out. Yeah. You know about that blood magic, Ryan. It's a very nice uh, line weight you got there. Very consistent. Thanks, man. I like it. Yeah, this, this pen... Um, Taper is just enough for like you to have the character of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You want to add some color to this one too? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Cool, cool, cool. Let's get this line worked on there. Everyone liking his cat so far? If you have comments, send them to Kevin doesn't know what he's doing at gmail.com. <laughs> That's Kevin does not know what he's doing at gmail.com. What brush? What brush are you using? This is just the. Um, I think you just said it. Before, the standard right? technical pen. Standard technical. Very nice. Get those cat eyes in there. So what is uh, while you're doing this? What has your experience been with Procreate and the iPad and everything? I used to replace your sketchbook and you're sketching more than ever. Anything else? Um. Is there anything else you use your iPad Pro for? Not really. Honestly, this has been the primary thing. Um, even at work, I've been using it for like logo sketching, and it's awesome because that automatic like record thing oh, gives us yeah. like content for social and stuff, and we can like make some like cool videos out of it. Um, so, is Procreate your main drawing app? 
Procreate is, asking. yeah. Procreate is definitely my main drawing app. Um, yeah, I'm, I've only really had it for about a month now, so... Zach says, show them how to drag the color to fill in the shape. So you oh, really yeah, quick okay. before, but yeah, you, uh, sure. you fill in the eye whenever uh, you Let you me get complete this eye, and then I will do that for you, Zach. Yeah, so I'm like watching... Him and Joe both got iPads recently. I'm just watching them do all this fun stuff on it. It's really making me want to get an iPad now. So, like, I have one, but I just never use it. I don't know. Um, let's, like, make the... Nail well, now that I have the black here, I'm going to... So you can go up here to your color picker, take this circle... And drag it into a, it has to be a closed shape. It fills it in. You can do that here. And so yeah. neat. Um, Just as you should have work expense the iPad. Well, if my bosses are watching right now. Hey. Hey. Hey, you remember me. Um, <laughs> I'm going to drag. Let's make some yellow eyes. Ooh. That's nice. D digging that. Now. Actually. What? No. Oh, wow. What? I'm going to put all of my. Fill colors different layer. on a different layer. Will that some ideas. will that drag work on a different layer? What you could do is copy this layer, um, okay. use those lines as your border and lines, delete them. and fill into those. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I didn't know you could do yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is different from a regular iPad. Yes. So this is an iPad Pro, not a regular iPad. Yes. So all all this uh, Apple Pencil stuff only works on the iPad Pro. That's what right. I've learned today. I have a mini that I never used. Yeah, so I have a mini too. It's sitting next to my computer. I use it to watch like YouTube videos, and that's it. I don't use it for anything. Oh, oh, we got an update. Look at this. <laughs> Who's? Oh, that's, really, that's awesome. <laughs> that's so cool. I, I I gotta like start putting this stuff in the chat. Did you put the first photo in? No, I do it. it. <laughs> I I tried to, and it. All right, I'm gonna try it again. Um, so I don't like how this is tapering right now. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Sometimes you just have to settle for whatever. Every time I drag it in, it just opens it into a new thing. I'll figure it out. We'll get there. I'm not feeling that line right there. Can you give me some chunkier brush strokes? Yeah, who's asking? Me. Oh, I'm asking. Oh, I'm right then, here. Then no. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I mean, how do you feel about these? That's nice. It has like a little, uh, little mustache, a little pencil mustache now. Sometimes it tapers weird. It does. Is that uh, what somebody said? Because I just... <laughs> so, uh, uh, Wheeler's kid is asleep now, so we can uh, turn off the filter. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's a recorded stream, and we are professionals. Yeah, we are professionals. We're not going to get too out of hand tonight. We'll get out of hand, but not too out of hand. Oh, it says uh, the, the way it tapers is based on the angle of the pen, so maybe we should like, hold it. That's right. That's right. Um, I haven't really messed around with that yet. Who was that, Joe? Yeah, it was Joe. You know it. Joe just has all the tips. I don't, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, Joe's good. Joe's, I think maybe Joe would have been a good asset to tonight's. He's stream. right there. <laughs> Joe! <laughs> Joe! So, uh, what else you got for, for Procreate? Um, what else can I show you? Well, let me hang on. I'm going to shut off that layer and see what my line work's looking like. That's all right. Um, I don't know. Do you have any more questions? Uh, anyone have questions about iP um, whatever this is, Procreate? Anyone got something? All right, cool. Can you what do I'm a, going to do? What? I don't know, just to keep moving things along. Why don't you do like a speed drawing of something? Well, I want to complete or this. Or do you want to Okay, yeah. I'll let you finish that. Um, you see, you're making me... Oh, I don't blame anything on me. This is yeah, all you. you. This is all you. I wonder if Lenny's watching right now. Dude, I hope. If Lenny's watching, hey Lenny, what's up? I hate you. No, I don't hate you. You're the best. Oh, Lenny. Ah, oh, Lenny. Lenny. Lenny almost banned you from coming to you. No, he, he did ban me, and I had to get myself unbanned. Mm. I don't remember why he banned me, too. No, I think I called him out on stage. No, was or it was all the blood magic stuff. Mm. Um... Actually, I'm going to delete this. So Will's asking if you're going to bring this into Illustrator. Yes, I am. Um, but more so, I'm going to... Uh, give me one second. Let me close this. Um, um, yes, we will be... Doing, I'm thinking of just bringing the sketch layer into Illustrator. Uh, and then yeah, completely yeah, yeah. doing the line work again. Um, no. 
Oh no, hidden layer. Uh, um, is it easy there to move go. into Photoshop? Can you export as a PSD? It can. So when you have your, you go up here to your export, you can, and I believe it actually exports all your layers um, as Photoshop layers that's cool. too. That's cool. So that's smart. That's pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just continue. What color are we making this cat? I'm thinking like a dark gray, like a, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. we still want to see how our line work, so. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. And then I'm thinking like That's a nice. deep red right there. Going to read my notes. Um, we're going to create another layer for all of our um, shadows. And I'm just going to fill that in. Um, let's see. What would be a good shading pen? This is your forte. I don't know. Uh, I think I'm just going to boost this since we have our line work on another layer and go crazy. Go oh, nuts. Oh, go crazy. Um, And now, are you you just you're just multiplying a color over there, or is that so? A dark this gray? is, it's technically gray, but it's multiplied. So even if I were to put the gray here, it would show up as dark yellow. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, mm. keep doing that. Right, we're getting like, we're getting like real now. Um, how much does an iPad Pro go for? Um, they begin at um. For this size, the 10.5, I think it begins at 649 is the starting grade. Um, that's and that's for where I think 64 gig is the smallest one you can get now. And this is a 64 gig, right? Because you're, you're, you're in, when you save stuff, you're never saving directly into the iPad or you're using cloud? Um, a little mix of both, maybe? Honestly, I haven't really done anything crazy that I've needed to save other than these Procreate projects. It hasn't been anything wild. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go back to this, and I'm actually going to rename this uh, base colors. Base colors. Uh, that's good. And go back to this. Um, I don't wanna, oh, I want to color this nose. Hey, color that pig nose. Make it pink. Wait. These color. Oh yeah. So the reason that you could see this going over the lines, which is something I intended. Oh, you intended because, that. That's yeah. not a mess. No, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really did. I believe you. No, that's, that's fine. <laughs> um, the reason for that is that I, I duplicated the lines layer. Ah, there you and go. And I can put that right on top. How long did it take you to? Uh, I may fast this, but to adjust to working on an iPad just for drawing, like to use, figure out all these controls and stuff. Honestly, dude, it felt really natural, to be honest. So didn't even take it um, No. There was a that's few things right. Joe taught me. Joe and Jeanette were here, like, the night that I got my iPad. Oh, yeah. That's right. There's so much cool stuff you could do with yeah, it. There really is. I'm blown away by how far the iPad has come from just being, like, a big iPhone. Because that's how it started. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Zach wants to know, why did you pick the 10.5 over the 12.9? Um, Only because... And you were in the store with me when I bought it, right? I was. I, um, I talked him into it, actually. The reason being was that it felt so un the twelve point nine felt so unwieldy. It's a little too big, I think, for what you're using it for, and for portability, yeah. it felt cumbersome. Exactly to be carrying that. Like around. I picked it up, and you're like Kevin. It's like a thing, you just like look, like, like you're, you're like, uncomfortable. Yeah, and I, I know, I'm like over exaggerating, but no, I mean, it, I, it, I feel like you're not. This one though. feels so perfect. It yeah. feels right. What I can say is that the so before they came out with the ten point five. Uh, the smaller size was 9.7, and that difference alone mm. is what, what what made up. And what's the, the price difference between the, the two sizes? Oh, I can't really tell you. I can pull it up. I'm sure it's like a few hundred dollars, but it's it, I don't think... When it came down to cost, you weren't really worried about cost? No, like, it was more Sure, like, it's fine to save a couple hundred bucks, but it comes yeah. down to how you're going to be using it while you're drawing. Yeah, and this was, exactly. For us, it was the better option. Yeah. Even though it's yours. Yeah. <laughs> Would it take three times going into the Apple Store to finally get Dude, this? Dude, I looked at it like... I feel like I looked at it more than that. Well, I was with you for three times. Yeah. Always with Starbucks. 
I'll probably upgrade to the 10.5 around Christmas. Yeah. I had a 12.9 and sold it for the 9.7. Yeah. No, I 12.9, it, it feels too big. Yeah. You don't need that much screen. Yeah, it felt like too much. I don't... I ha- Since I've had this for the past month, I've never felt like, eh, I wish I had a larger screen than this. You're right. This has right. always been okay. And what, um... What accessories have you gotten for it? Um, besides the case, yeah, show off that case. Um, which was n- it's not an Apple brand case. It's something, but it's like an equivalent of the smart. Yeah, the smart yeah. Cover. It like has the magnet, whatever. Um, that and the pencil. That's about it. Flying and in. I bought this like extra thing so that the cap doesn't get lost. That's all. Nice. Those are my only accessories. Yep. Um. What happened? What'd you do? Yeah, you there broke we go, it. There we go. Um, let's add some shading to this. Um, Just reading on 12.9 on the couch with my kids running around was ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. That's um, The 12.9 just seems so unnecessary. It's For even like sitting yeah. on the couch, like you said. Some cute shading. So I think um, you want to finish this and then move into Illustrator. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to yeah. bring this into Illustrator? Or do you want to bring something else? I don't know. What do you want to do? Um, I'm cool with because yeah, I think uh, I mean people have seen this enough. Yeah. Maybe so we can let's, move on to let's, else. let's let's use the last. We'll, we'll split this until let's use well, the next ten this? minutes. For how about some... we sketch something else right now in Procreate? Yeah. Bring that into Illustrator. So this is as, something uh, you would do usually: is you'll sketch in Procreate, move into Illustrator to vector. Yes. There you go. So yeah. let's make let's make this that part of the lesson. Cool, awesome. Hey, we're, um, we're moving into that phase. If of we the... have any requests, something like hey, a anything, skull, a skull, <laughs> anyone, any any sort um, of a bony understructure of the human head, any anything. Let's let's let this this delay go on. Uh, what should Kevin draw that we're gonna bring into Illustrator? He's gonna do a skull, so he might as well just say skull. It's like we're sponsored by Apple. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Apple.com, the iPhone 8 is out now. Is it? Yeah. The, the X isn't. I don't oh, like, eight, I do, I don't yeah. like the notch. It's, Whatever. Uh, anyway, any, um, any suggestion? Any so, requests? let me just read through what the last few things I've been saying. Uh, it's awesome for traveling. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, with iOS 11 and the new file system, it's a little bit closer to replacing a laptop. That's what I said. It's yeah. almost becoming a MacBook, which is crazy. Yeah. Um, Illustrator Draw app or Adobe Illustrator? We're going to be using Adobe Illustrator. We're going to yeah. switch off the iPad onto a MacBook. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Zach says two skulls. Two skulls. Let's do, dude, that's it. That's it. We got the suggestion. Two skulls. All right. Do you like a king and a queen skull? Yeah. Take that Actually, and run with it. do you it. mind if we just be back in five just really quick? Oh, yeah. Let's I just want to... Um... Pizza. Two skulls with pizza. Okay, we can do that. Give we'll us take a, five just a few minutes. We're going to take a quick five minute break, and um, I'm going to get some things prepared for We're you. We're going to get All water right. and coffee. All right, cool. All right, we're going to be back in like two minutes. We'll be. Well, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm just. Are you audio only? I'm audio only, man. Wow. All right, guys, we will be back in just a couple of minutes.
All right. Thank you. Well, it is a very professional break screen. That is right. That is nice. Um, um, Mac, look, you can drink. Kevin has to pee. <laughs> I didn't even stand up. I honestly didn't even stand yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't. What I wanted to do was pull up this skull so um, you can, like... Do a crystal skull. <laughs> I hate a, that movie. Do a crystal Dude, skull. Dude, Kingdom of the... Um, All right. Uh, uh, go ahead. For the next two seconds, tune out if you don't want a spoiler for Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. It's aliens. It's aliens in the end. And it's also... It's aliens. It's also a, literally a 10-year-old movie A 10-year-old movie. It's so, aliens. If it was Indiana spoiled, Jones with <laughs> aliens? They ruined it. What? It's like, Steven Spielberg, you had enough time with what aliens. Happens? Like... No, you it had, doesn't no, need Indiana Jones. It doesn't need But aliens. you had your chance with aliens. You had E.T. Oh and every other alien movie you were ever involved I'm, in. I'm, I'm mad. Anyway... Um, so we're done with it. That so is. what I wanted to do for that break was just pull up um, Safari, which is on my sidebar here, um, and just use the skull as like a point of reference. Um, we can go more cartoony than it is, whatever, whatever. whatever. I so to vodka. Here we go. Um, my kids will never know that movie exists. <laughs> Smart Zach, don't. Yes. It's a trilogy. It's a trilogy. Yes, yeah, exactly. They're making another one now. Shut up, really? Yeah. No, oh, no, no, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I, think, about that. I think uh, Harrelson, well, not Harrelson. Harrelson. Yeah. Harrelson. 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 Harrelson Ford. Ford is like trying to just kill every franchise he's ever been a part of. Yeah. So, anyway, um, yeah, let's draw this skull. Two skulls. Two skulls with pizza. With pizza. Pizza, okay. Yeah. So I'm thinking... So let's, let's make this a speedy drawing, since this is really just a yeah, sketch, okay, okay. and then we'll... Don't go nuts, though. Like, oh, yeah, I know. You're like, got the coffee jitters. Like, relax. Yeah, I do have the coffee jitters. I'm going to so, scoot in. I'm getting back into my position. I marked it on the floor. <laughs> giving away all the trade secrets. Yeah. Secret hey, trade. become a member of the UDG. You'll get access to all our archive streams and an exclusive member pin. Look at that. Look at... Let me center this in the screen. It's cool. It's I don't know how much. Uh, Will tell them how much it is a year. Um, I think it's sixty a year. No, 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 it's seventy a year. Seventy a year. You'll get discounts to all the workshops. You'll get access to all the uh, archive streams. It's it's it pays for itself uh, with with just the uh, discounts on the the workshops. And uh, we got our pizza party coming up with Todd. Um, so pl I'm just plugging us real quick. No, that's fine. That's good. Woody Harrelson Ford. <laughs> yeah, Woody Harrelson Ford. They should be the two skulls. The skulls. Woody, uh, Woody Harrelson. Harrelson and the Harrison Ford skull, with pizza. And aliens. And aliens. Oh man. So, okay, six ninety nine for professionals. Twenty nine ninety nine for students. That's insane. If you're a student, just do it. Yeah. If you're a student and you're like not like getting involved, you're crazy. You got your mind. Yeah. Like I really wish. I mean, students are busy. I get it. But mm -hmm. professionals are busy too. So we have lives. You know, are we free time I had in college? Oh, dude, too I much. I played so many video games. They really call myself a professional. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't. No. Um, we promise nothing and deliver less. Oh, I like that. Yeah. What did you steal that from? I don't know. <laughs> I know. But I know the, it was taken. That was something. that was the podcast tagline. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Where is Mike tonight? I don't know. I don't know. He, he doesn't talk to me anymore. <laughs> we were just talking to him. Tonight. Yeah, that's right. So what have you done here where you have... You're on your iPad yeah. with a window snap to the side? Yeah, is this so part this, of the new OS? This is... Um, no, I, I think you could actually do this in... Because this is multitasking, right? This is multitasking, yeah. That's really cool. I mean, I know that in the newest OS, multitasking uh, things have become even more powerful. Oh, yeah. But so you've been able now. to do this since... Because it's kind of weird uh, on the stream, but yeah, the, his iPad had has like two screens with a divider. Paula, you're my favorite. I've been <laughs> oh, oh, nice, Paula. Just link right there. Just do it. Join. Yeah, three workshop discounts as a student will pay for uh, membership alone. Plus you get the pin, member pin. Really cool. I wear it every day. And all our streams. So you can watch Kevin barely make his way through life at any time. You don't have to be live to see it happen. It's better on iOS 11. Yeah, the multitasking is like crazy yeah. now. Honestly, that's one that and the file system that could replace a MacBook for someone who's not a designer. Easy. Yeah, it's almost like a Chromebook in that. In that. Yeah, yeah, it is. It really is. Oh man, this skull. I'm not like it, dude. This Ooh, skull is bad. Do you want to start over? No, no, no. Uh, uh, why are you using a reference? You freehand skulls all the time. I know. I don't know why. I don't know. I was just feeling it. I want it to be more anatomically correct. To, all right. How about? 
I'm going to give you the suggestion. How about you do one anatomically correct skull and one Kevin Green skull on a bed yeah, of pizza? This is <laughs> barely anatomically correct. It's but... fine. Do do this in a Kevin Green skull for me. Okay, fine. That's crazy how there's the hole in the back. No one ever really draws that. It's for the optic This nerve. is like... Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Beth came in and said, Kevin, he likes tactical bags. Is that an inside joke? Zach said Sorry. that. Oh, yeah. Tactical oh, yeah. bags? Is yeah. that like your I, stupid camping gear? It's not stupid. Um, mm. Zach That's debatable. is a bag enthusiast, as is his lady, Beth. Um, and they have great taste in bags. That's all I can say. Bag, like, what, you mean camping gear, right? No, Just, no, like backpacks and backpacks. stuff. Backpacks. Book bags. Book bags. Are you going to get on that debate? Does anyone ever say God. book bag? I say book bag, yeah, so I, I hear, think it's I fine. Hear. Let's get the, let's get a poll going. Who says book bag still? Your, your skull looks great, by the way. You're doing a good. You're doing a, you're doing a really oh, good. Oh no, job. this is no. No, it's looking, no, it's looking really good. But yeah, I, I want this skull and I want a Kevin Green skull. They're just gonna like Dude. yuck it up, like a Kevin Green commercial art two thousand. Sometimes you need to do this, man. What are you about to? Oh, dude. Sometimes you need to do that. Sometimes you just get rid of that. Do you? You know what? Do look at I this. I like that. I look like at that this, idea. folks. We're breaking. <laughs> we're breaking barriers. We're we're doing we're doing we're going nuts we're going nuts. Get on that hook and loop tip. Oh, listen to us. Oh, we sound great. Using a blue <laughs> snowball. I just want to hear our audio. I gotta like fact check this as we're doing it. Someone's asking about our audio. No, I'm I'm asking. It's me right here. Uh. So yeah, I'm using that blue snowball uh, mic. They're great. I hope we sound as good as I'm hearing it. in the chat look at this this is a kevin green skull if i've ever seen one no it's comfortable yeah you know what sometimes you just got to slip back into a comfort zone just That's really quick just got to dip back in sometimes you work your work wonders look at this this is fun this is festive for the holidays yeah man jack skellington I always like the the skull illustrations with the very exaggerated cheekbones where they're coming out and they're square. I mean, I don't know that's how skulls look, but no. What? No. No? What do you mean no? No, I mean they don't look like that. I mean, they... what are you talking about, dude? <laughs> what are you talking about? You had a skull it's, up it's two late. seconds ago. <laughs> it's not late. It's nine it's o'clock. Late. <laughs> are you guys tired? Are you sponsored by Blue Snowball? Uh, no, but you can go to blue microphones. I don't even know if that's a website. We're not sponsored by anyone yet. Blue? Apple? We can take them in the show notes and see if Zach's, we can get some. Zach's heading out. Oh, Zach. Zach, take care, man. dude, that was fun having you. Uh, we'll have this stream archived on Twitch for two weeks, and it'll be on our YouTube channel for United Design Guild. This this is the one that anyone can watch. This is the freebie. Uh, but become a member, and then you'll, you'll get a... Get our, our whole library. One Zach, more. take care, man. See you, Zach. Tell Beth to say hi. Yeah, I don't know Beth, but she sounds cool. Look at that little eyebrows. That's adorable. You know what? I am going to give him eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. All right, this is this is Kevin Green. Where have you been all night? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just I'm showing just, up I'm now. Just with you. This is, you know what? This is so he's, gonna have... he's gonna have a cigar, isn't he? Uh, I was thinking like a short little cigarette. A like... short little cigarette. Yeah, you know what? A little shorty. Yeah, look at this. I like how it's not even attached. This is, this is, I'm having fun. I'm having, <laughs> I'm having fun. fun. <laughs> All right, we're going to lower this to like half. Um, half start a new layer. That's at 51%. That doesn't bug you. You know? That doesn't bug you? Does it snap to... If I worried about those things, I'd be here all night. But, you know what? Since you mentioned it, let's see if we can oh, move that, that little slide over one more pixel. Hey, there oh, we go. Oh, wow. Wow. going to start a new layer. Good. Gonna rename this one real, real fast, which we don't have, even have to do. But at this point, first one's free. We're it. learning from the best. Yeah, yeah. The first one's that? always free. That was Will. Oh. First God. one's always free. That's how we hook you in. Cause it's such quality content we're delivering you right now that you just come back for seconds and thirds. And may the fourth be with you. I'm gonna drink some of my water, vodka, water. I've been drinking more water lately. I feel healthier. As Dude, person. I've now that I have like a twenty-four ounce bottle, that shaker bottle I bought. Yeah, 
I'm drinking water constantly. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. You know? Since it's right in front of you at your desk all day. It certainly helps. It does. We got that New Jersey tap. Oh, delicious. Oh. Oh, you can taste the bleach. Purified by the finest people that Jersey has to offer. <laughs> when you're dragging that thing over, it looked like you had a clown nose for a second. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, like, hello. <laughs> I don't know. What were those voices? Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. My page isn't large enough. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, can you move all that? Um, Yeah. Let's watch. Yeah. Um, Live learning lesson. The thing is... Just drag all your layers or something? I need to ask Joe. Joe said you can... Hang... Oh! Oh! Figure it out. Okay. Sick. That's cool. Scale it like that. That's cool. And then I can go you like really that. did start in a weird spot on the page. Yeah. Yeah. Can we call this piece Yorick? I don't know what that means. So sure. The skull. You hold the skull. Alas, poor Yorick. Do you know theater? I don't. <laughs> Oh, yeah, man. This is going to be a cool skull. Yeah. Like a Kingdom of the Crystal skull? If it had this skull, it would be an okay movie. Look at his butt teeth. <laughs> I'm having fun. And since I'm bringing this into Illustrator, I mean, this doesn't matter that I'm doing this right now. I mean, I... this could be super loose because uh, the yeah. final, yeah, like I said, the final. We're going to move into Adobe Illustrator on the MacBook Pro. After Everything's pro these days. It's crazy. Kevin has the new uh, MacBook with the touch bar. How are you feeling about that touch bar? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Dude, I got used to it very quickly. I guess. I guess. Just like the same way I feel about the... Pop it. 7 That's crazy. Plus and... I don't know. Like, someone sent this photo to me, like, a while ago of the Pop it, so that I was trying to think. I don't know who this is that texted me. The number's not coming up, but thank you. Did somebody on the stream? That has to be someone on the stream. How else would they just ran? Imagine someone just randomly sent me a photo of the pop pop rocks. I'm gonna call them pop rocks, whatever. Oh, that's probably Will. Yeah. I don't know. I have Will. Will's a separate character here. If it's Will, I'm sorry. I don't know why your number's not showing up. Your name. Can you give him a little mustache, like a little pencil little porno mustache, in for for um, Hugh Hefner? Oh. R.I.P. I mean, I really like this. You could do that. I mean, you're modeling it off a, a genius. <laughs> oh, yeah. And God. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> it actually looks like one of those uh, candy sugar skull thingies. Yeah. From Dude, this looks so bad without the sketch underneath it. You're just a bad illustrator. Why are you on this? <laughs> what are we learning? What are we learning? <laughs> what not to do. No, uh, this is the big what not to do. Yeah. So, um, uh, so, all right. Just to recap, like, what we're doing right now. Uh, in... Procreate, you're drawing a skull. What are we going to do with this? How are we getting this off? So let's show the time lapse really quick. Um, what we're going to do with this... It's so cool they can move that it. That skull actually wasn't as bad as I thought. No, you're, you're in tunnel, you had tunnel vision. That's so nuts. That's really cool. Um, what we're going to do with this is bring it into Illustrator and just um, vector it. You See, and you'll, you'll export it as what? Like a, a ping or a JPEG or something? Uh, probably just we'll, we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll get to no, that. probably just. I don't know why I'm jumping ahead. Um, so yeah, um, what I'm gonna do is share it. What what I love about this is that you can choose the JPEG, and then right in here, I can airdrop it to myself if I turn my mouse on. Um, oh, I don't know if that'll pick up. <laughs> dishes are done. Whatever. Yeah, dishes. Are, <laughs> hey, at least you know we. We're, cl we're, cl we're clean here in the um, Summit household. Give me one second. Someone watching who doesn't have a Twitch account. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, it's, I thought it's kind of Everyone. weird that you can't oh, comment there we go. without having a... So, what's cool is that I can share it directly to my MacBook. Bam. Which is right that in front was of the us. download. Um, and then, before we switch over, I'm just going to keep, keep it here for now. Uh, I'm going to drag it into Illustrator. And... Um, Cool. We are going to switch over. So here's a little behind the scenes. Um, you know, it just you could just switch to right here. Right? Yeah, display capture and then turn off iPad. All right, here we go. So we brought our sketch right just into confirm that this works. Hey, we're on a delay. Let's just make sure we know what we're doing here. I'm surprised it didn't drop. Like we we've been streaming oh, yeah. for over an hour now with without any hiccups. <laughs> and there it goes. Cool. Cool. We're so good. 
I'm Do you want to adjust to yourself at all? Yeah, I'm going to. Let's uh, yeah, adjust move yourself. Some adjust yourself. We're gonna shuffle. Um, We're gonna shuffle a little bit. You might get out of the frame. I'll I'll have to check myself. Uh, it's probably just internet. Are we still here? Offline. No, we're good. Okay, cool. Um, so we're back. We didn't um, go anywhere. I know, we didn't go anywhere. <laughs> Just um, check OBS real quick for me. Sure. Yeah, no, we're good. All right, cool. Um, yeah, uh, just as it's working. So the same sketch that I had in um, my iPad, so, I, know, I shared it very quickly. I wasn't looking. What did you You just airdrop this When I was on the iPad, without even leaving Procreate, I was able to share it, airdrop it to my MacBook, Went into my downloads. I drag that right into the shooter. That's cool. I'm gonna scooch in just so I'm yeah. more in frame. I'm cool. Get it ready. Oh, hey. hey. Um, you didn't wear clone like I did. I didn't. Mm. I didn't. Mm. I'm sorry. That's gonna be a new rule um, of the stream. You have to work. It should be. Yeah, we'll tell that. So I'm gonna uh, take this layer down to like 40. percent Oh no. Where am I? Um. What is this? Oh, it's moving my bed. What do you have you Dude, used it's, Illustrator? It's before? been I'm it's, sorry. it's been a it's few been. minutes. It's been it's been it's been. Um, cool. Y'all I'm good? gonna lock that. I'm gonna open up my pencil. Um, and I actually have some brushes here from Retro Supply that I think I'm gonna use. Oh, dude, let's call out Retro Supply. Dustin, um, he's awesome. Dustin Lee, yeah, yeah. RetroSupply.com. You get some. Look, um, like, look at this. Look, look at this. Dude, this is so these cool. brushes are dope. Um, I'm gonna use this one, this thick brush one. Um, I'll drop that in here. I'm just gonna use it as a reference. I know that like I should properly add it to my brushes, etc. But um, doing it down and dirty. Yeah. It's so fun watching it. So, um, yeah. So. Dustin, he has little vector packs and brushes and stuff on Retro Supply, so it's great. Super cheap stuff, and it's helpful. It's, he's doing all the hard work, so you don't have to. So we'll, you know, yeah. we'll plug, we'll plug in. Now if I just, no, that doesn't work that way. Okay, what I'm actually gonna do is just vector this um, skull. I'm not gonna do the smoke yet. What's wrong? You. No, so, you're so breathing this, heavily. This and it's is this is a, me. this is this is a me thing. Yeah. Whenever I so I I've been designing for a while now. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know how many years has it been since high school since on the computer. Five. So always between like when I would be in class and stuff, you use the mouse and the keyboard. But on my laptop, I always use the trackpad to design. Uh, so I'm watching. I'm, I'm like watching you like drag and click, and I'm like, oh yeah, Dude, that's I was right. listening that's to. I was listening to uh, Perspective Collective podcast the other mm -hmm. day. And um, it was crazy. I was so he had on the guys from Forefathers and Amir, who's oh, them. an incredible illustrator. Can, I, can you scooch over a little? I'm like um, half head in frame. Sorry. Um, no, that he you, said that. Yeah, he said that. Ooh, dude, this is messing me up. To be honest. <laughs> wow. Okay. Dude, I need to be. You on. do you. Fine. Whatever. Anyway, um, he said that oh, it he uses hurts. his. No. He uses his trackpad quite often. For yeah, I, I, I think it's just because it I got used to amazing. using it on the MacBook for so many yeah. years. Like, I never really used, um, I never had a desktop. I always used a MacBook. Yeah. So I just, I never used mouse and keyboard, I, or mm -hmm. mouse. I always got used to the trackpad. So it's like that. It's like using, I feel like it, it, it's more tactile. It's like, oh, that's Joe crazy. Joe uses a trackpad. That's right. Yeah, thanks, Joe. Someone's on my side. You're also that was the side. grossest thing I ever heard. <laughs> what? 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 Me what using that? the trackpad? Will? Will says that. I I don't know. There's some. I like like oh being tactile. Like, flick I think it was the tactile. Part tactile. Part really? Was it tactile? I don't know how much of a delay this is on. Oh man, I'm also a perfectionist with my Bezier curves. Like, yeah, but when you're doing yeah, when you're doing like, yeah, other, yeah, you're doing tight. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah. I so guess. shift command W. <laughs> Not you, forefathers. He's so good in using a trackpad. Oh, oh four yeah, fathers, no. yeah. No, that was insane of him. That's crazy. But man, I mean, it's just what uh, it's just what you get used to. And I could use the circle tool for this, but dude, I gonna, never, I never do. I'm not gonna do that. I kind of like whatever imperfections you get from doing this, especially in illustration with type. Of course, you're gonna use a. Um, 
Um, you know what I want to do for a few minutes before we like continue with this? Oh, what do you want? To if we could show the other illustrations that I've done, I think. You want to just jump ahead to that? Yeah, I mean. I don't okay, really feel so like, we can come back to this. I feel like people that have been watching might want to see some other stuff. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll... So Wheeler uses a trackpad too. Thank you. I'm not alone. Dude, I'm not crazy. You're insane too. Uh, you know what? It's it, I. You're I all nuts. You know, you're I, all nuts. You're all nuts. You're nuts. I think you're insane. So Kevin uh, wants to switch over. So this is this is you. You could literally sit here for hours and be vectoring a skull. Um, actually, just real quick. Yeah. Since we're on this, what is your process for now? Vectoring? Do you just pencil everything? Do you do you use layers in um, Illustrator? I never use layers in Illustrator either. I'm an insane person. Unless it's for like a sketch layer and a vector layer. I don't really break um, stuff up too I, much. It depends. Like sometimes I'll do that if I'm doing the my shading mm -hmm. with um, my multiply. I'll put all of that shading onto its own layer. It's more so. It's like not for the final product, but just for a workflow. I know just people. I I don't know. Anyway, I have some other stuff here that. Um, so the, what do what do we got here? What's your project? So, oh wow, you're just jumping one. all around. No, not that one. We're gonna close this one. Um, so this is some final vector pieces you got here. I mean, they're still kind of in the works. Nothing. Oh nothing wow. Else. Okay. Uh, what? They are. It's true. Brag about um, it. Yeah, move the mic over. So this is a an hourglass. Oh obviously. really? Wow. Um, and some things that like I guess we can. Yeah. So uh, t tips. What do you got? What do you got for me? How'd you make this? So okay, I can show you how. Can it's you outline this. mode this for me? Is this all merged? Oh yeah. So this is it's pretty. It's rather clean. It's rather clean. Is that just work. how you work, or did you clean it up to this? No, I mean this. This isn't crazy. This oh is God. pretty I've much how I work. I've shown you some. Of my I know. Stuff. I know. Yeah, some of my stuff is like insane, or it's like patches and stuff, and it's crazy. So this isn't. Um, no, this is nothing crazy in my opinion. This was. I mean, a lot of it is pathfinded, and I can do that with these path shapes. Found? Path, path found. Path found. Pathfinded. I don't know. Fact check um, us on that. Uh, so, like, let's say I wanted to create this shape that ended there. That's all Pathfinder. Did you know? Did you uh, go over a sketch to make these? No. So no, you just these did are, these right? These are Illustrator. strictly yeah, straight up doing, doing the Illustrator. So, let's say I want well, the way I started this hourglass, and I'm just going to copy this so that. Whoa. Jeanette's team trackpad too, dude. We got a lot on team dude, trackpad. Oh my god, here. you guys are crazy. I'm gonna, you know what? I don't. I, I I'm gonna attempt that gonna for like. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm going to switch over We're all gonna to this learn. trackpad. We're all gonna learn here. Kevin's now like, going off the grid. He's using all trackpads. Dude, I tried to duplicate something right now and it didn't work. So I'm already. So upset. How about, I'm already stop, upset. How about you just like <laughs> stop being a baby? Wow. Um. So when I designed this hourglass, I started with that shape. And I'm going to delete all this. Because, like, I can never work in Illustrator without a sketch underneath. For, for an illustration. Well, when it came to something simple like this, I you could mean, divide like, this into... Like, how did you... How, how would so you, you go could about making that? That shape right there, you could divide into four quadrants that yeah, are all symmetrical. Repeat. Yeah, exactly. Right? And so that's how I started with that. Okay. Um, and I'm switching Fair back enough. on my mouse because I'm already upset. Wow. So, what was that? Three seconds? Yeah. Three yeah, seconds. Um, it Take started, the trackpad challenge, folks. It started something like, like this. Um, did you sketch this out first? No. So this is all no, just like you're an illustrator. You're just yeah. That's crazy. Um, and I'm gonna go in and clean some of this up. What's awesome it's with the Beziers, right? Yeah. Wheeler used to use a trackpad when she's illustrating twenty four seven. It's way more comfortable for long hours. Oh, trackball. Sorry. Wow. We're what trackball? Okay. Wheeler, so you're in, nuts. for those of you that haven't utilized this tool, that's been around since like. CS6. The um, no, this. Oh, that. Yeah, that, that's so cool. When you select a point that's somewhat of a corner, you could round it off, and that creates that. I think it's, yeah, it's any, well, any whoa. Any, any corners, it'll have that little dot. Yeah. Um, within a certain degree. So, if you're making typography, it's great for rounding characters. I haven't gotten used characters. to the, uh, the reflective... Shortcut oh, that you that's, showed my, me. that's my favorite shortcut. So is, I mean, right here, I'm already halfway done with the shape, right? I'll take that. I'll go into Pathfinder and combine that, duplicate it, rotate it, holding down Shift, so that's fine. The shift is like um, the most held key. I mean, yeah, it's different, but whatever. It's fine. So we're gonna combine those. Actually, sorry, you never have free. to pick up and move a mouse. Way more better for curves. Wheeler tips. So, and then I'm going to select these two. Since this is glass, like, Ooh, glass that. yeah. mm -hmm. that's kind of cool, right? That enough, eh? Man, I think I like that shape better than my original. So, <laughs> anyway, um, I've only colored it because 
If it was white, I wouldn't be able to see it on this background. Um, you could put it on a colored background. There's this technology called a square. Ah, new tech, dude. New so tech. most of these shapes were just duplicates of one another. Um, like this so is even, just the same thing rotated. This swashy mm -hmm. shape for the sand. That's just you're not sketching any of that. You're just doing this right. In I didn't. I didn't sketch that. I specifically did. And let me actually show you. That's a good idea. You mentioned that. So let's say I have that I'm here. Full of good ideas. No, I know. I know. Um, and I want this space right between the sand and the glass to be even. Right. It's very difficult so if you're doing that. If it was me, I would stroke it in and then build underneath it. And that's why I'm teaching the class. Oh, oh wow. So well, I can't wait till I teach my class and I talk about Kevin Green being an idiot wow. for two hours. Anyway, so the sand, the difference between the sand and the glass is pretty much just showing... This is what she used. What? That's insane. That is dinosaur that's stuff. That's insane. That is Kensington. Kensington. Oh, Sounds fancy. Um... So the difference between the sand and the glass just shows that the glass is thick, pretty much. Um, you like thick lines. Yeah. Except um, there's that very thin line in the middle. What I'm actually going to do, you were partially correct. I'm going to go to a path and offset that path. Um, it's so funny how you work compared to how I work. But it's also the same thing. You know what no, I mean? That's what, that's what I love about like stuff like Illustrator. There's no right or wrong way to do it. It's what's your technique? Yeah, how yeah. do you get to the, the same endpoint? So this offset path is pretty much, um, you're taking your path and you're giving it a, um, your set's like stroking inside. Yeah. You're stroking inside, it's, but yeah. without creating a stroke, without creating a stroke, you're just creating right. a shape. It's just that offset path. You yeah. could also go, you know, positive numbers go outside the shape, negative numbers go inside it. Um, crazy how So I'm going to go until the sand actually cuts off, and that's going to create where our sand is falling down. Um, I'm going to hit OK. I can delete this one with my direct selection tool, and now we have this one. You got um, a good suggestion here. How did you get into design and, and illustration and all that? Um, you want to hear the story from like the beginning? Or? Dude, we, we're here. We're, we got here. time. We're we got here. time. We got hourglass time. Oh, oh my you had a God. joke there, and you didn't do it. I didn't. Um, Joe loves offset path. I never use offset path. I always stroke. It's funny. I'm just going to make this like some crazy color right now just so that um, I could see it. Yeah. Um, how did I get into design? So the story begins in the year. Actually, wait. Hang on one second. I don't want to delete what I deleted. I want to keep that shape there. Um, the story begins in the year. That was a year. Will suggestion, by the way. Hmm? That was Will's suggestion. Talk about your history. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um... And the, the, the truth is, it's, it's weird, it's um, when Super Nintendo came out, oh my god, I'm serious, when Super Nintendo came out, it came with only one controller, as most, um, you know, most uh, systems video game systems, way, yeah. and, hang on one second, is there a way to offset the path without duplicating it, Joe asks. I think to make it a separate shape, you have to duplicate it, right? Yeah, it automatically duplicates. You okay. could just delete the axis. Yeah, because you're working in two, as two different shapes. Yeah, it, it doesn't... Yeah, exactly. Um, actually, let's see. I'm going to just... So let me continue telling that story. So, um, yeah, offset path... Preview. Yeah, there's nothing for, like, mm. to not duplicate it. It's fine. So Will's, um, on, Will's on team stroke. He, sh he would stroke in. But again, that's what I love about Illustrator. Dude, there's, I, there's no I right mean, and wrong. There's that, no right and wrong. It's just technique. It's what do you do? How you'd you stroke. Okay. You, it's the same thing. Let me explain. Thing. Let me okay, explain. Fine. You would stroke in. Yes, I get it. But when you're cleaning up your file, you have so much extra. Yeah. You, again, so you see, much. my files are so dirty much. sometimes. It's you're like I'm dirty. eliminating that from the from the beginning by doing the offset pack. There's something I just like about working in a mess, though. Um, so Super Nintendo came with one controller. So Super Nintendo came with one controller. And... Uh, and on these shapes that I made, I'm going to combine, and then I'm going to divide them from this one, which I know I could use other things, but um, the Pathfinder tools people people don't use them enough. And if anyone doesn't understand the Pathfinder tools that's watching, just speak up and we'll yeah. Go again, uh, if um, Janelle's heard this story, oh hey Janelle, I don't know she has heard this. So yeah, oh yeah, I told her this hey, at Janelle. the last ring draw. Yeah. Um, and I have an older brother, um, so. When we got the Super Nintendo, he would play it nonstop. It was his Super Nintendo, I guess. I was oh, okay. like three That's a years old. part of the story. Um, and so I just sat there and I drew the characters, like the Mario characters and stuff, while he played. 
I mean, that's how I started drawing, at least. That drawing eventually became, like, I just continued. Um, at one point, I wanted to go into comic book illustration, um, and then I went to Bergen Tech. Bridget, what up? Yo, what up? Um, and then Miss you. I Let's get drinks kind of got into logo design and branding, and that's when it took off from there. And now I do We went to the same high school, by the way. That's yeah. what we're talking about, Wheeler. Um, yeah, so what you saw that I did here was I offset the path to get this shape, and then that was on that was down here too. Um, and then I created this like curve, and I duplicated it, flipped it, joined them together, and then knocked it out of that shape. Are you like a habitual uh, pathfinder user? Like, will you do that immediately? You don't keep the sh shape separate? Because like um, when you duplicated that, you immediately path found pathfinded them together. What I usually do is save every rendition of what I do. Same. Some of my I, artboards are like eighty, like path, eighty artboards. Doing the pathfinder tools is usually the very, very last thing I'm gonna do. Because you so can go like in case you, you want to go make a change. Yeah, you can go back twenty steps, and usually my artboards are full. You know. Yeah. But um, Same. you can go back. I, like, I use my artboards. You can go back like thirty steps and and. Still, yeah. So what I'm going to do with this line, because I want to conjoin that line as a shape to these two lines. I'm going to go up to Object, Expand, blah, 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 Fill in Stroke. It becomes a shape. If you look closely, that line is now a box. That's awesome. Yep. Then I'm going to use my Direct Selection tool and select that one, select this one, and go to my Pathfinder and join that all See, together. See, me, I, wouldn't, I would never do that. I would always keep well, them I separate. A, I have a reason for it. Okay, let's and hear it. Let me show you. Different um, strokes, man. No, but I agree. What I would have done, had I not been just teaching something, was I would have duplicated it and then moved forward. Do you want to blast from the past? PD yeah. Popcorn? Who's PD Popcorn? Oh my god, Wheeler said that? Wheeler's talking about PD Popcorn. Wheeler said that. Yeah, PD Popcorn was a, uh, a character that I created back in the day. Wow. Um, so the reason I did that, you see these pinch lines? Yeah, so again, these pinch points right here? Yeah, you can curve them out. It's awesome. That bugs the hell out of me. So, what I had done was selected those two. I joined all those shapes so that when you look closely, they're beautiful and smooth. See, again, me, if I was, I would just draw a shape over it that no. curves it out and just Why? leave all these little bits. That's just how what? I work. It's oh. how I work. Dude. God, when I have my look stream. Look, now that I have this and I can. It's going to be insane how dirty my files are. You're going to freak no, out. No, it's fine. I mean. But again, there's no wrong way. You work how you work. That's just, yeah. that's just how it is. You can compound the F out of them immediately, yeah, Joe. Um, so this is... A, I want to do the top of this sand now, right? Yeah. You got a nice forward-backward there. It's that a, is nice. Wave. It makes a heart, even. Is this like a, a commentary on how all love runs out of time? Man. Dude, you didn't even, you didn't even know what you are doing. You just messed me up, right? And what's the diamond for? Is that like the, the ring, diamond? The ring that'll... You, you really want to know the... Like... Yeah, let's hear it. Story time. So the sand is your life. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna run out. Okay. But that's... the diamond that's up here can't fall through the bottom, and that represents oh. like what you leave behind, like your the memories that you leave with people. Like this stream, we're leaving this stream uh, behind for two weeks. Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, it'll be it'll be on YouTube. Um, Check it out. Okay. So and I'm just gonna, on the site. So for this curve, I'm going off the rails, and I'm not doing anything that's symmetrical. It's actually one of the this shape up here is probably the only thing that's not symmetrical in the entire illustration. Actually, mm -hmm. um, it's kind of nice other though. Than the that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, so um, let's just go here, and I'm just going to go crazy. Go crazy. Um, That's what we're all here for. We're all here for, uh, you know. That's what I would have used. A good time, not a long tool. time, am I right? Do you use the curved, the curved pen tool at all, ever? Would it be bad if I told you I don't know what the hell you're talking about? It's that, <laughs> it's that thing under the pen tool? I've never used that before. Did no. someone ask if I used that? Can you always undo the curve? Why waste time making a random imperfect curve? Joe uses the curve tool apparently. Yeah, I mean, like, okay. Joe, I've never, I've never touched it. I've never touched it. What is, is that, that what he's talking? About? I think. What is this? Oh, whoa! What is that? <laughs> this is new. This has to be new. Look at this new tech. I can't wait to see this and see my fate. Wait, so I make a second point. <laughs> there it is. That's your face. <laughs> I love the delay. Okay, so hang on. Hang oh, on. dude! No <laughs> way, yo! Put it I up, gotta put like. It up. Can, did you, have you been putting these in the so, stream? Here's the thing. Every time I drag an image, I want to share this with the chat. It like 
messes up my screen. Like here, you'd think you drag this in, but then it just does that. Uh, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna work anyway. On this. Wheeler's Joe. Out this some curved. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is figure oh, out. So it's called the corner tool. The corner tool is the thing I was using before. Joe, so, this, honestly, I don't know. Pick. What are you doing, bro? What is this? Dude, I've been using no, the pencil for weird. so long. I don't know. This is strange. It feels it's like not, you have less no, control. No, 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 not doing it. Let's do the Kevin. Let's, let's do the Kevin, Kevin Green. Green. I'm sorry. I don't know how to put in images. I feel like I'm dumb. He said that's not what he meant. It's been the, there for a few version. Paula is leaving. Bye, Paula. Bye, Paula. Thanks for joining. Take care. All right, so... Um, what I'm gonna do is something crazy. Oh my god, what is this? Oh no! Never mind. See, what I would do is I would get Helvetica to make a character S and then take out that one. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, imagine someone work like that. Hold up your phone. Oh, okay. You know what, <laughs> Wheeler, we're gonna do this just just for you. So this is one of Kevin's old illustrations from back in the day. Do you mind if I literally? This is a ten year old illustration. That I'm, I'm gonna, did. I'm gonna. I don't know how. Yeah, I got it open. Yeah, but I don't. Yeah, it's gonna be on a delay. It's gonna be on the phone. So hopefully it'll that shows. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That yeah. illustration was of my friend Chris. Yeah, Chris that, Piano. That's a ten year old illustration. That's crazy. I can't believe this is so low tech. Thing. I'm having fun uh, with it. Reflect that real quick. So, oh, is that how you did that originally? Huh. And then I just brought this one yeah. forward. Looks like a uh, martini glass. So then, is that like how you're saying weird. alcohol gets you through life? Yeah, pretty mm -hmm. much. Pretty much. Cool. The moral of this. So I'm taking these two corner points. I'm just gonna round them off slightly. Um, let's bring this back in. Ba, 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 da, ba. So da, Will's da, watching da, a guy da, da, da. make illustrations using type, like what I just said. Oh yeah, that's insane. Like I was joking, but it, I mean, send send a link to that. Uh, Will, that sounds really cool. It's wine sloshing in a glass. Janelle says. I thought Janelle said she was leaving. What's the deal, Janelle? Janelle, Janelle, what are you what doing? Are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, okay, so what's the next piece? We want to make this like base with the handles. Yeah, because, right. I mean, well, that seems like it's, it's it's really just shape, the shape tool, right? Like, just your own shapes? Or did you pen tool all these things? Okay, so what I actually did was, the only thing that was do. the shape tool were these circles. This was all uh, hand-drawn. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hand-drawn and... and Hand, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Drawn without automatic tools. Um, so what, that was Paula? <laughs> when are you hanging so out with Paula? Actually, I'm going to... What I did do was create two oh, circles. Oh, Paula so. said she was leaving, not Janelle. Oh, I'm, oh okay. Yeah. Um, it's fine. I'm going to create an artboard around this shape. Wait, it has to be unlocked. Blah, blah, blah. Da, 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 da. Looks like you're going to turn it into an Oreo, with the cream being a uh, hourglass. Because what is life without Oreos? That's right. They just um, came out with a limited release of cookie butter Oreos. I was like, what the hell is that? It's just a graham cracker flavored Oreo. Delicious. Delicious. Got out of Acme. Check it out. <laughs> Sorry, it's like misunderstanding what Why? Janelle was saying. On. What is happening? So, since the touch bar was right here, I kept accidentally like click on this. And then, <laughs> okay, so that's a minus point for the touch bar. <laughs> See, I got my MacBook right here is just the regular. Uh, well, it's a MacBook Pro. It's right before they introduced touch bars. <laughs> <when> I got <laughs> it. And, uh, you know, it has a more tactile experience. I feel. So what I did with this shape. <laughs> To make it feel like, I mean, you can't really tell its dimension, but it has like some height to it. Yeah. Like the ring has like a height and then it swoops back to the behind the glass and then swoops up. Right. So what that actually is is just two of these ovals mm, yeah. to create that dimension. Uh, I get it. Right? You're going to merge it together. Well, yeah. Give me a second now. Um, so yeah, Will, problems. I know they're great. It's insane. Everyone get cookie butter Oreos. Like taking the world by storm. As like, much as an Oreo boom, can. That shape is already there. Like, and now you got your Oreo. Now you have your Oreo. Uh, our sponsor, Oreo. Um, I wish. That'd be really cool. I'd love to be sponsored by Oreo. Oreos. Nabisco. Hey, they're right down the street. All right, cool. Now I'm going to group them. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to um, 
Pathfinder, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna wow. group it and then... see. That's how I work. I would never. I would just always leave it like that, and my files end up being no. Like I would too. I would insane. Too. Um, Janelle, get get Oreos. Just get the cookie butter Oreos. Just give it a shot. So, in order to make sure that this is going to be on the same, so plane interjection. This is where people would go nuts with levels. Like they'd have this uh, or layers. They would have the hourglass on a layer. They'd have the structure holding on. A you could. Layer. I do the same. I do what you're doing. Just group it, and you go bring forward and yeah. push backwards. Yeah. No, I agree. Again, preference. Um, it's all preference. What I'm going to do is make a slightly. A Nabisco here. Type Tuesday, dude. How have we what? not? This the factory's right there. How have right we not taken a picture? We should. We'll, we'll do that. We pass yeah, it we'll on our that. Starbucks. We though. literally pass it three times a day going to Starbucks. <laughs> so I'm going to select this and that. I'm going to copy that, paste it in place with copy Command that. F. Command F is paste in place. Rotate it, right? Why wouldn't you just? Oh, see, oh, yeah, that's that the rotation trick, dude. You're going to learn it. That'll be my uh, um, shortcut Command F thing, right? And then this is bugging me because it's yeah. How is it not symmetrical? Oh, because it's the shape plus exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You could set your center point to yeah. No, yeah, that's true. If you're gonna Um, do it, you should do it right. Wow, that's all I'm saying. So (laughs) I'm gonna delete all of this. In Illustrator, I never use layers. In Photoshop, layer everything. Yeah, no, same. Um, I guess it's just just preference. Yeah, I I use so many layers in Photoshop. It's not even funny. I guess it's just the way the two programs work. Yeah. So who do we still have here today? On, uh, um, we got Will. We got Joe. Got Wheeler. Um, I'm going to copy Janelle. this circle, this bottom most shape. I'm going to paste it in place. I'm going to send it to the back. And then bring it forward a couple of layers so that it's in front of this going to be a shadow, ain't it? And this is going to be this color. Now... Mm-hmm. Oh, I like how it's breaking. That's actually, spray. yeah, that's actually cool. So this is a gray, right? But it has a multiply transparency on it. Um, see right here, multiply. So that's why our yellows are a darker shade of that color. Do you want to hear something crazy? What's that? I only learned about the multiply transparency like junior year of college. Did I teach you? No, I don't even know who who taught me. Before I would like figure out how are people getting such these rich saturated colors over things. Like, they take a black and white photo and do that thing, you know, where you, like, yeah. uh, multiply a color over it. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, I'm taking, like, a red box and lowering the opacity. I'm like, it's just faded out. Dude, are you sure I didn't teach you? Because I really no, no, don't you taught that. me about, like, transparency masks. Oh, I, dude, I haven't used that since <laughs> yeah, I haven't used it since you told me about it. But, yeah, it, I think, honestly, I think Julian showed me. It was for our, like, publication design class. So, um... Oh, thanks, Julian. As you can see, that there's, like, this, this bottom shape. And that's kind of like just lifting that base yeah. off of the uh, the surface. Looks like a um, triangle trap's hat. I was thinking that kind of looks like an orthodox like cap. Unorthodox? Yeah, like a little. Oh, I was gonna say Lutrop's cap. Um, I hope he is watching. Oh, that'd be sweet. Hey, Lutrop. What up, Lutz? Um, here. Honestly, this is just for my. No, you do, you do. You do. See, even how you're tapping down, I would zoom in sixty four thousand percent and make sure those lines are perfectly aligned. Oh no, I usually do. I mean, I'm doing. Oh, you're just half assing it for the, the stream. The sake of no, time, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin was all about that multiply transparency in college. I I got through college without it somehow. Only through the last year, I, I started using it. It's insane. It's crazy. Man. I, and now I use it like all the time. It's the best. If I'm doing a shade of any color. And it's you're, not like a a four color process job or some shit. You're multiplying. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, that's crazy. There, there we go. All about that multiply. Um, Even our the UDG branding, all of our things are all that multiply transparency with the colors. That's yeah, crazy. Right. Um, so much now. Cool. So I'm going to change this color to this color. Get there that spot match. It's um, very nice. This is a very Kevin Green thing you're doing right here. Thanks, man. So I don't know if that was a compliment. Hmm. Hmm. Um. How about this? Uh, how did the the this little stippling around the diamond? Can we talk about that? Oh yeah. Because okay, that's cool. cool. It's a nice little detail cool. that you're just like not even talking about. Yeah. So this is the diamond full size. You could see that um, in more detail. So let me teach you guys a little something. Oh wow, you're about to learn. You're oh, about to oh, learn today. That? I'm not printing that. Um, oh, dude, I hit Command P all the time. It's stupid. So I'm going to create a shape. Right? How do you create shapes? Carefully. Um, That's good. That's good. 
changed my life. Yeah, I saw it on a YouTube video in college. And he was like, we're wondering why your transparency looks dumb. Hit multiply. I, I, I don't know anyone that just knew about multiply. Everyone was like, yeah, some, uh, like, I was like, oh, wow, that's crazy. That's I learned crazy. it in, like, a character animation, like, ca- character illustration thing. Crazy. Like, tutorial. It's and the guy so was like, funny. yeah, so for your shading, change the multiply. I'm like, what? Yeah, so... it's crazy. Changed my life. You're absolutely right, Well, Changed my life. Uh, All right, so you're getting the navigation yeah. Google Maps icon. Da, 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 da. You know what? Actually, I like this leaf shape. Okay. What is this? What am I looking at? So what we're gonna do? What are we gonna do? Is I'm gonna them. Um, let's say we wanted to have this shape repeat on a circle. Mm-hmm. How do we do that? All right. Do you like so, a sunburst thing? Yeah. Exactly. So I'm going to create that circle. I would love to see how you do this because I have my own method. Do you? Yeah. This one I learned in Wheeler's class, is junior right? year of high school. I actually learned this in, in like an Aaron Joplin have video. You, have you tried using Adobe Draw, then bringing it into Illustrator? That's Wheeler. Oh, I haven't. Oh, uh, well, we did that very briefly the other day yeah. while we were messing around with some stuff. Um, and I'm not sure if I just did something wrong, but when I dropped the Adobe Draw file into Illustrator, all of my paths were already expanded as shapes. Um, so the lines were not stroked, they were out. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's, that's right. the only, like, unless I was doing something wrong. Anyone know anything very about that? Let us know. Um, so we'll do a class on it. Let's say we wanted this shape to repeat. Um, yeah. We are going to use the rotate tool, which is just R. R. Right? And then we're going to hit uh, For pirate. holding down, I believe it's option, and clicking, right? So what I did was I found the center point from your circle. It, it'll auto exactly. find that for you. Um, I hold that. I held down option and click that. That brought up my rotate. Um, now I'm going to choose like let's say 20 degrees um, and preview that. That's kind of nice. But um, let's go even less. Let's go 10 degrees. And uh, hit preview again. For Adobe Draw, she says, "Have you saved it to Creative Cloud then opened it in Illustrator? Mm. So never saving locally." Yeah, Illustrator. I think I did do that. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Wheeler, do you get? It strokes? went into my Adobe Creative Cloud folder. Mm. If that's the same thing, I, I'm not sure. She, oh, she hasn't tried it. She's the one. Oh, okay. Um, so, I don't know. option click on the center of the circle, and we're going to change this to 10 degrees and preview that. That's nice. Now, instead of hitting OK, I'm going to hit Copy. Mm-hmm. And now, now that I've copied that, I'm just going to hit Command D. There you go. And same. then. Hold so down thing Command is, D until it goes all the way around. With Rotate Tool, why do you use that thing to see does that look good? Why don't you just copy and drag it around the circle so you can position it exactly where you want? Oh, no, I only did that for the exact degree. Oh, okay. Because if it's I had done now. that, let me just... Because then let, it's not precise. That's, exactly. Yeah. And I'm not sure if I'm going to have an even... Right. Like, let's actually do that. Let's give that a shot. Yeah. So I'm going to hit R and then... Get your center point. And then go like this... And then oh, just, just come in. Oh, wait. Oh, you just I have to copy it, it right? Yeah. Look at this. I'll edit this out so no one knows you messed up. <laughs> I'll edit it out so Dude, he seems smart. This is... There we go. So yeah. I'm going to copy it. But yeah, if I Command D that... I so mean... it'll end imprecisely. Unless you magically know. Like, I mean, you that's see, not yeah. terrible, but so it's not perfect. That, yeah, that actually wasn't that bad. So this space right here... Is much less yeah. than this space, and that's the reason you. Just asking, you is it bad that I didn't know how to do this? This is no. This no. is like no, no, no one. No, no, no. This isn't a thing that's uh, that, that they just tell you. And this isn't something that I use very often. I learned it in a Skillshare class that Aaron Draplin taught, and I'm like, whoa, that's. Yeah, I learned. Awesome. It, I, I read it in like some blog in high school, and I've been doing it like that ever since. Yeah, yeah. Let's make Crazy. sure we find that center again. There we go. Find the center. Um, it's good. Uh, let's go twenty percent. What is going? Oh, I keep hitting. Dude, Guys, minus touch bar. another one for touch this bar, touch dude. Bar. Touch bar is not working. <laughs> okay. Command D duplicates what your previous action. So Command D duplicates anything previous that you action. had just done. Um, anyway, so we have this. Now I can get rid of the circle. It was only for a guideline. And we have this beautiful, like, floral That's a logo. That thing. could just be a logo right yeah. there. I've actually used that, that circular thing for a few logos I've done. Wow. Um, Which is what you do for a living. It's true. Wow. Um, let's do you actually, want to tell them where you work? I work Can at a design agency in Lindhurst, New Jersey. Um, it is called Pixel Graphics. Follow them on Instagram. And um, Janelle's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, so what I'm going to do is just create another circle that's and pretty much do what I had just done, but make that a tighter, tighter shape. 
Um, command, uh, sorry, option, click on the center. Um, preview, 20%. <laughs> she now remembers that. And then I'm going to go, I'm gonna go even drop. crazier. I'm going to go even crazier. I'm going to go like this. this you're, you're being nuts. Is this somehow going to get us to how you did that little out? First thingy, the diamond. Maybe because I'm like I don't even know what you're doing anymore. Okay, I mean, I'm just I along know. for the ride now. Um, you're making flowers over here. Yeah, I mean I'm making flowers, and then I'm going to delete that's that inner circle. That's just the BP logo, isn't it? Isn't that's that just the that's BP logo? that's how BP made their logo. Well, so, so fun fact: you can make a professional logo in about thirty seconds, and then charge people thirty thousand dollars <laughs> for it. That's right. crazy. How design is nothing, and so, we get paid to do nothing. It's all the computer. I believe what I did with that none this, of that is true. Don't I'm joking. What I did with this Satire. was essentially the same thing. Um, I created my circle, I think or I, I can created see my where line. You're going with this. Um, Ooh, outlined it. Da, 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 da. Oh, man, wow. I'm gonna go into my get around those corners. Options. Oh, you always, um, I always have that showing. You have that hidden. Dude, you're nuts. Can I tell you the truth? What? This is the first time I've used Illustrator on this MacBook. No! I stop it! How? I swear to God, you've had this for months. No, I got it a month ago when I got like, like the the iPad. Are you serious? I got it like two weeks right before now. The this is the first time live no, 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 on no. stream. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I'm like my workspace has not been set up. For so oh, this isn't. Can this, I discuss that? Really yeah, quickly? I was about to say. So you haven't even set up a workspace. This is just well, it's called digital illustration. You did something. Yeah. Wow, so, so you've opened this before. You're lying on dude, stream now. I made this digital illustration thing with you like three days ago. I'll edit this out, so... <laughs> you can't edit it here. Yeah, here. Do a quiet part, so... And I'll cut right there. Okay. okay. So... <laughs> when you have... Okay, okay when you life. open up Illustrator for the first time and you want your panels to be correct, it's going to look something like... Um, essentials. Yeah, it starts it's going to look something like this. I think. Or... Let me reset that. Um... It's gonna look like this actually, Ooh, which gross. is disgusting. And oh man, I and hate I'm gonna that. Delete libraries, please and, do. Oh, this toolbar, I'm gonna make one line instead of two. Um, oh, uh, just to clarify, Will's like, oh, I'm an Illustrator every day. You just meant on this brand new MacBook. This that's is the first what I time meant. I'm an Illustrator every day yeah, too. That's all we do is use Illustrator. But what I meant was on specifically on this MacBook that I'm working on right now. It's like a month old, and um. That's not true. <laughs> Just like I wonder why your workspace sucks. <laughs> yeah, so set up your workspace. This so is, okay, yeah, insane. let's you're do insane. that. So I don't know if people know this, but you can set custom workspaces and then save it to the cloud. So if you start on a new computer, you just load in your workspace. You learned so that the other like, day when I told you, right? No, I've been doing so, this. I have my stuff out at work. Okay, cool. So yeah, let me do that. I'm going condescending. To, some of the tools that I've already used um, today are going to be involved in this. Dude, so align let's Pathfinder and Transform. Just so, so Transform, Align, and Pathfinder are like... Key to yeah. Illustrator. Um, graphic styles, rarely use it. Appearance, I do use it if I have some weird effect that I need to shut Drop off. It's the only... You know, like, I could even... That's going to be nestled in somewhere else eventually. So, um, yeah, stroke, for, transparency, for gradient, it. important. I usually want my transparency on its own thing. Mm, so saying. Because I use my strokes like... So for an entire month after work, you did not use... That's not true. No, that's not so true. So you lied. You've definitely used Illustrator before on this. We sit and work. Not to the extent... We sit and work here. No, that's true. Oh, um, man. Not He's... to the extent that I would have had to take the time to set up the workspace. That's so thanks, everybody, for joining me on this journey. Wow. Um, swatches, I'm usually dragging from my swatches into my gradient panel. So I'm going to keep that separate, too. Um, color and swatches can go hand in hand. Um, that's fine. Hands I'm going to actually hand. show this as like that. Um, brushes. We're gonna move that aside. So what I really uh, some of these panels, man. What these, is that? Even? They're new panels that like Adobe. Dude. I'm sure this is awesome if you're doing like a lot, whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's awesome, whatever. Layers, artboards, and links, which I more. This is. But please tell kind me of you're like, going gonna to put these all in the yeah, thing, can right? you please wait? You're freaking me out. So, I set up my um, my panels on my left, starting with like what I feel is the files, the, the structural things. So the layers, the artboards, and the links are, I feel like are structural parts of your file. And that's always going to be up, um, kind of like the primary things at the very top. Um, from there, it's kind of like whatever. Um, color can go next. 
Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm gonna drop appearance into this panel too, because it's not important enough to be on its own. Uh, transform can go down here. Align and Pathfinder I use pretty often, but I can still keep them nestled together. And that can go next. Um, strokes and gradients. This can actually probably go, let me see. Actually, appearance I'm gonna nestle in with transparency. Um, I'm gonna drop this one probably between these two. Strokes and gradients can go above that one. Um, brushes can go in with this one as well. And, uh, type. sorry? Type. And my type tool, Command T, Paragraph. Dude, I hit Command T all the time to open a new tab and I realize I'm still an illustrator. Oh, really? And it just hides. Yeah. yeah no, That's I a good one though. Command T um, will bring up your uh, your type, type panel. And these two I'm gonna drag in. I, keep it I at the bottom? Oh man, we are like black and white. This but is you crazy. have to keep in mind, I'm creating a workspace for illustration. And I'm rarely using my type tool. Digital illustration. Actually, you're in essentials. That's right. So, so since I just it. set this, uh, the, it's good you said that, since I just set up this Great workspace, I, I want to save it now, right? So you can go back to workspace and hit uh, new workspace, and I can save it as Kevin's um, drawing uh, workspace. Right? So what's cool about this is if you have Creative yeah, Cloud on any other computers, you can just load in your workspaces. Yeah. So there's like no more setting up. You do exactly. it once and you're done for. And good. now my workspaces are up here, and I can choose from whatever. Um, I'm going to now. I'm creating this like starburst thing that you see around this diamond. Hey, that's a trademark uh, name. You can't say that. What starburst? So you're gonna get banned. I'm going to create uh, a circle here, and. Pull this out like this. Da, 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 Janelle da. wants us to guest speak her class. We'll totally do it. Oh, yeah, that would be awesome. We work as a team. Terribly. Terribly, but, but we work we as a team. Um, ba, 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 Your ba, ba, faces ba. are in the way. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, Can I man. move that really quickly? Yeah, just shove that off to the other side. Oh, man. That's funny. So Thanks, sorry. Joe. Thanks, Joe. So all of that you didn't see, but now Not you really. Can. I mean, there was nothing. Crazy. It was the show so, panel. That's all it is. It's like the first day we did Illustrator in Wheeler's class, she says. <laughs> yeah, Janelle, we'll, we'll do it. We'll do what it, What does this shape do? Fre freshman year, she wouldn't let us use the computers for design. Remember mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. Research only. Research. Don't rely on the computer, Whatever, kids. Wheeler. The computer is just a tool. You Whatever. don't. You're not. You don't get good at illustration by having a computer. Get that. Get that in your heads, kids. All right. So I'm going to copy this. No, sorry, I'm not going to copy it. Yeah, what are you doing? Dude. I don't need to copy it. Dude. So I'm going to hit R. That brings up my rotate tool. You can see that it, right over here, the rotate tool has been selected. Holding down Option, I'm going to find the center of this circle. And that, as soon as I click on it, it opens up this panel. Crazy. Um, with preview turned on, I'm, I want way more lines than that. So I'm going to just change this by like 8 degrees and preview that. <laughs> just as it's very phallic. Now that's actually okay. This is really not. It's just a wiggle. Really um, okay, and then I'm gonna copy that and then hold down Command D. Da, 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 yeah, Janelle, da. we'll definitely do it. Wheeler wants us to do a class too. That would be cool. Let's do it. Now I'm gonna do Wheeler, let's I'll have our people call your people. Now. That's not um, true. Just talk to us. Learn to draw on paper first so you can be a badass at the computer. Yeah, no. Uh, not even draw, just Learn how to be creative outside of a computer. A computer yeah, just exactly. becomes a tool. That's all it is. Exactly. It's a pen or a pencil. Um, using my pencil, I'm just going to add some anchor points in here. Like, along this line. Uh, sorry. I'm using close. the... Yeah. Um, and you, when you see that like asterisk, asterisk, asterisk become a plus sign, that's when you know you're adding points to your line. It snaps to it, too. Always um, use uh, Command U for smart guides life changer i don't know when what version of illustrator they added smart guides but that is in, i think it was cs5 but that is the like my like the the hands-on i remember feature of illustrator. i remember wheels saying she didn't like it really because that's what's letting you snap directly into that thing and not like fidget oh yeah no, yeah yeah no smart guides are i don't know they've come a long way but yeah dude smart guides are, are and it's what lets me become a perfectionist and make sure all those lines are perfectly aligned at sixty four thousand percent yeah, which is not a joke. I do that. 
it's insane. So it takes me so long to do work sometimes. So what I'm doing is adding points to these lines and then deleting the space in, in between them. Um, and I'm not going to go crazy and do that all the way around. Yeah, but no, I could see you just sit and do that randomly, yeah. uh, and that's how you That's essentially your, what I did for that. That's cool. Um, that's actually, I think I only did maybe five lines, just repeated the duplicated section. them, and then just like... Yeah, I mean, at that point, you don't even adjusted. have to. It's like so, it becomes so randomized. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could probably see some repetition here. Um, I tried, like, okay, so this one is definitely the same as this one. Mm-hmm. And I tried to adjust it just slightly. Like you'll see, this line is shorter than this one is. Like I said, all secrets um, are exposed here at the VGG live stream. And you'll see that like all of the lines end there. What I had done was once I created this um, diamond, I did a stroke on it instead of an offset path, yeah, actually, yeah, and then um, expanded it and knocked it out of every line. No, let me show you that. So oh, let's man. say, let's say I wanted to do that. Let's say I had. Um, oh. We're gonna do that really quickly, actually. So she says she hated it because of all the tiny pop-ups. Uh, like I see, like uh, when you're yeah. first getting used to how it like snaps to everything, yeah. but now it's just like second nature. It's it's I rely on it. So, so I have this shape, right? Um, a diamond if you will. Like and Lucy in the sky. Yep. That's a, song. That's a song. That's a song reference. Um, I'm gonna group all these lines together, and then select both the diamond and that group, um, and then align them to the center. Which doesn't look centered because of the shape of the diamond, so I'm going to drop that slightly. Oh, you, you Optical do, you, you, is more important hey, than mathematical. Hey, so, all right, real quick aside. that I, I've been seeing it pop up so many times. And you're all wrong. The Google, the G thing that everyone's like, oh, look at all these things that people don't, the Google G, how, how's Google doing this? Like, that, you're talking about technical alignment where, sure, you can do that, but it won't look right. You have to do optical alignment, too. There's a time and a place for things like that. With the Google G, if it was a perfect circle, it would look wonky and extended. You have to bring it in. You got to bring things out. Alignment. You're just I'm just reading messages. It was like, like, not everything has to be technically aligned to look right. You have to rely on your eyes. Optical alignment. That's how that's how the Google G is created, and that's why it looks right. That's why you're not looking at it being like, oh, this is good. stop posting that thing. It's not right. You, people are making themselves a fool of themselves on the internet, which huh, crazy, right? To think people would do that. Okay, I can I'm get back sorry. To my get back to your. Get All back right. To your Lucy. So, um, what I could do, which I'm going to do now, just because I feel like it, is um, go to object. Sorry, go to object path. Offset this path a bit. Um, always preview it, and instead of negative twenty, we're going to do a positive paths. forty. I don't know, man. And see what? Whoa, that's crazy. No, so we're going to do that's, negative twenty. Stroking does the same thing, where it makes those like crazy sharp like uh, the reason artifacts for that. Out. Okay, let me explain that too. The reason that that's the case is because there's more points down here than there should yeah. be. But you can easily um, clean that up with a minus tool. So yeah, let's. You could have do just done it on the cool. stroke too, or the offset path. Just clean up the offset path. So even at like a thousand percent, you can't even tell that it's a problem. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, there's yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. Google thing made me so mad. So many friends I respected to look for. I know. I was like looking Who at was that people. Will? That was, was Will. Like, yeah. like, did you did you go to design school? Did you not learn about optical? Like, I don't know. I'm done. It's so a, my heart, my watch is telling me my I'm heart rate is literally at sixty-four thousand. Sixty-four thousand. Yeah. Trying to get in on this. So this is, this is dumb. You should stroke or do your offset path and then clean that up. Yeah. Just clean the sharp points. Yeah, I up. suppose you're right. You but so the fact that those this. points are there in an illustration that I thought was okay, it's bugging me. It just means that you're not as good bad. as you thought. <laughs> I guess. I mean, I guess. You, like, you, I'm. You no. Just, why did oh, I? Oh wait. Oh man. Wait. What? Solution. I have an idea. Dude, I have an idea. I gave you the proper solution no, you like 10 minutes ago. I'm going to offset path this oh, Christ. inward. Check In this what? out. Check this out. It's going to solve that, right? Object, path. I'm going to offset path this. Oh, my God. Inward. And guess what that's going to do? up with the cleanup tool? I never no, used the cleanup tool. No, look at that. Look at this. This point right here, I'm going to make it orange so you can see it really quick. What's the cleanup tool? Cleanup tool. Yeah. Oh, Joe mentioned it. So yeah. somebody told me about that recently. So as you can see, what I did was I offset the path, and those points needed to be eliminated, 
and that just worked for me. So I'm going to delete this one. Oh, 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 like the simplify thing or simplifies the number of points? Oh, yeah. yeah, simplify yeah, I don't path. Trust that, though. Simplify path is like you can't really control it, it as much as It messes up you... the artwork yeah, Unless that's not what he's talking about. You can't control it as much as you That's probably not what he's talking about. Probably not. I can um, hear him being mad 10 feet away. Yeah, and he's not allowed to yell at us right now. Mm, so. It's the power. Um, all right, dropping this back in here. Stay with me. It's important. Um, I'm not going anywhere. Now I'm going to offset path this thing again. Yeah, sure. Why Sorry. You could just offset path. I could, but, but you're going to learn how to do it properly. You're going to learn today. Um, you're going to learn today. Um, let's preview that. So that's the amount of space I want between my lines and my diamond. I'm going to hit OK. Average points are sick too. Average so I've that's just a preview. So this is a preview. About. This is a preview of what I want it to look like. Right. But um, let's just. I'm just going to use some crazy colors so you guys can see. The difference. Um, all of these lines are still lines, right? And I can't properly knock that out. Like I don't want it to be a white shape. That's yeah. that's improper vector. Building. I mean, again, I would leave it like that. Yeah. Until I'm like. But I'm like going. Like I'm skipping. Yeah, 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 I'm, yeah, let's yeah, say yeah, I'm yeah, happy yeah, with yeah. this. Become a UDG member now. You get a pen. There you go. Um, let's say I'm happy with this, right? And I've done everything, and I've copied this a million times, and now I'm. I'm You're done. You're sending this to the client who's paying You're gonna you take these lines. <laughs> You're going to take these lines. You're going to go to object and expand them, right? Right. And then you're going to take this and... Uh, Do you lock it? No. Yeah. Select that. Oh, gross. Hang on a second. Yeah. See, Joe, Joe says, yeah, use that simplify tool. I, I don't know. I feel It feels like it would take now, away something. I don't know. For those of you who are le that are like, wait, what is that doing? Yeah, what are you doing? I'll explain. You need to make all those lines, <clears throat> even though they're grouped, you need to go up to object, compound path, and make it as a compound path. Now, it'll act as one shape instead of... Can you just merge the shapes? Two? Is that what you were doing? No, they're not touching. So, Well, I mean, they're touching here. But no, no. I mean, like, couldn't you just merge the two shapes without doing that? Wow. What are you doing? What are you well, doing? Explain. Well, explain. No, no, no. Like, all you want to do is cut that out, right? Yeah. So, uh, all I would have done is select a few things and do that one merge. And it punches it out. Okay, so undo what you just did. Let's I want to knock the pink out of the yellow lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, undo the compound path. Yeah. Let's. I just want to see if... if this is an easier way to do it unless I'm just talking out of my ass. I think you are. So you have the pink and your lines. Just hit Let that. Let me make sure these, um, this compound path is not is released. Yeah. Compound path, it's, uh, it's released. Okay. So I have both. Yeah. And go down to, to yeah, this merge. one. Yeah. Now just, you can delete that pink. Just click on the pink and delete it. Right? Yep. Hey, Pat. That does its thing. What's up, man? Pat just got home. So yeah, that, that works too. Yeah. I mean, Sometimes is that essentially what for, you're going to go for? Mm -hmm, okay. Exactly. Okay. Sometimes compound paths make more sense for what, depending on what you're doing. Right. Like sometimes you I use need the compound paths. Merge eighty-seven thousand. That's good. No, yeah, that's right. that's pretty much exactly what. Uh, I need. Hold on, we got some some things. A Lemiao, can you name any one thing that significantly helped you improve your logo design skills? Hmm. Any one thing. Um, and Blue Ferguson, can you make it all over again? Uh, watch the stream <laughs> archive. No, then, I mean uh, it'll have his entire process on this. Um, Compound and that'll, great. Should the stream, the stream will be on our Twitch account for I think two weeks. It'll be on two weeks. Uh, it'll be on our YouTube and it'll be on our, uh, our the regular website in the archive. If you're a member, you get uh, access to all those videos. So, um, so yeah, so that's essentially how I made this diamond. I'm um, sorry. So the person asked. Uh, uh, Anything that helped you significantly oh, so that's right. uh, improve your logo design skills. Oh. Honestly, my answer would just be making more logos. Like the more you make and the diff uh, like the different things you're doing it for, like uh, varied clients, you'll start to learn yeah. to act differently depending on what it is. Um, so really what it is, is just do it. Just keep doing it and you'll get better at follow it. Follow the work of other logo designers and see what they're doing. And absorb as much design absorb. as you can. Read all the books in the world. I have hundreds of books on my shelf. I look at them all yeah. the time. That's the best um, advice you could give. It's true. I mean, know why bad design is bad design, right? I mm -hmm. mean, stay away from those things. Yeah. Um, Honestly, uh, yeah. So do do work, like practice, and uh, read a ton of books. Yeah. So, like yeah. I know you're probably looking for like a technical answer. There is none. Like there's no straight up like quick fix 
This is years in the making. You it's know? it's it's a muscle. You gotta yeah. you gotta flex it. You gotta practice it. Exactly. You train it. Um. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. So let's uh, let's bring this on home. So that's the star. This is the um. So what I wanted to do with this series was kind of create like some weird kooky like. It's like a cult type items, thing. Yeah, 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 in, yeah. In a way, yeah. Um, and draw a lot. Wheeler says draw a lot. Draw a lot. Yeah. yeah. Or get an iPad Pro and sketch a lot on it. There you go. Um, so let's see. Actually, uh, there, everyone's like now talking about like compound path and stuff. Like, is there any of these little like Pathfinder things, little little, little tricks that we know that we can show off? Yeah. Because some of these are super helpful. I use Pathfinder yeah. all the time. It's, yeah. It's it's a, it's a godsend. Yeah. Like, let's say you want to make quick shapes, you need to know your Pathfinder tools. Um. Let me just go through these and see rip if off the grates. You know what, Will? Um, Will says rip off the grates. Some of the so a, a good good practice is literally can you recreate what this person did? Like, can you take this logo? If you can make it on your own, you're you're learning. So don't use it because that's yeah. copying. But if you can make it, that's a, a a lesson in and of itself. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Amy Lemieux says uh, she appreciates our thing. She uh, is just getting her technical skills down in Photoshop ah, cool. and Illustrator. Yeah, again, even with these programs, like I said it's a tool. You'll uh, the more you use it, it'll it'll you got muscle memory. You'll start learning little tricks like we're about to show you. Kevin's about to show us something. Um, yeah. Right here, so let me kind of dissect. Um, And uh, if you become a member, you get this pin. Um, the pin. It's really good. I wear it every day. It's robust. You get this nice rubber backing. Um, it's it has the black enamel and a shiny silver. There you go. Really quality stuff here. We'll, um, we'll, we'll, we'll like just that. give me. <laughs> just what? give me one second. Cool. I'll vamp for you. Kevin's gonna set up okay. an illustration. I'll vamp second. for you guys. So design is like super easy. It's like there's almost nothing to it, and it's crazy how. Do you have the volume going? No, yeah. It's okay, still... I'm gonna rant while he's doing this. So like, d design is so hard because it can be so simple, and like it could be nothing, and and that's like sometimes the best. It's like a line could be the best design. So when people are like, oh, you know, work on your technical skills, how to get better at design. Design is e easy. It's easy, but that's what makes it crazy hard. And I'm probably like gonna run in circles saying the same thing over and over again, but it's like just just practice even make your own personal projects I do personal projects all the time and I've yeah. learned so much just by doing work on my own not related to not related exactly. to client Not paid it might even be things that no one will ever Honestly, see. Yeah, the things that have Made me grow the most have been those projects that I just yeah. do for fun Which is you know what I'm about to show you now is one of those things um so, one second. Blah, blah, stream blah, blah. just freak out. I don't know. No, we're good. All right, cool. Um, my stream broke. Yeah, I don't know. Um, if anyone can hear us, the stream may have broken. We're going to figure that out. No sound. No sound. Did you mute it? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Um, one second. We're trying to figure this out. Should we pull this out? Listen here. Yeah, let me pull it out. I think it really might have just been when you. I can hear myself. Technical okay. difficulties here. Hold on. Uh, do a back and five. We're gonna do a back and five. Should I mute it and unmute it? No, it's just really choppy. I can hear it though. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna go back to. Yeah, yeah. Let's just go back. Okay. So. Hey um, Joe, is it working? Can you hear us? I'm gonna fill up some water in the meantime. I hope right. everybody just sits tight for a second. Yeah, uh, like I said, this is the first stream. There's going to be problems, technical difficulties. Hey, we went like two hours or something. Hey, yeah, we're something that... No, I can hear everything yeah. we're saying. Okay. Um, oh, sorry for the hiccup. I'll edit this out. I'm... <laughs> oh, man. What? Shout out to water. Um, <laughs> yeah, so Blue Ferguson, we're going to start doing streams every month. Uh, we'll probably pick it up from then as yeah. we uh, you know, build up some traction. But right now, it'll be... 
towards the end, probably the last week of every month, I think. That's I mean, don't look. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm and, not. Uh, I'm just the guest for this one. Yeah, so. every every stream will have a different uh, kind of a different. <laughs> You're not going to be stuck with my midnight tonight. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry if this stream is choppy. Uh, the video that we have that'll be archived. It won't. It'll mm. it'll just be a straight video. It won't have to worry about this. Okay, so, so let's just work through the problems. Cool. Let's let's bring this on home. Let's wrap All this right, up. All right. So for those of you that um, may have ever seen the Honeymooners. It's a um, a show from like the fifties. It's on after midnight every single New Year's Eve, and was like a tradition in my household growing up. So one of the like my favorite episodes was this um, this episode where um, Ed Norton has on this space cadet um, helmet, and they had just gotten like their television in the apartment, and they split like the cost of the television between like they don't live in the same apartment. Okay, and so the guy downstairs got the TV. Uh, I guess in like a, to- a coin toss or something. Um, and so he always, his buddy who's annoying, um, like kept coming down to watch this uh, space show on his TV. Anyway. So what are so, you going to show us here? So this illustration, I'm just going to like delete the, well, I'll leave those there uh, for now. Hey, Ferguson. Ferguson says hi. Hello. Oh, that's, uh, I think that's Ali. Ali, what's up, man? What's up? He's uh, joining us from El Salvador. Oh wow! Yeah, oh, crazy. Um, so let's see. Um, yeah, I mean, I st- started this with simple shapes. This was a circle. Um, this I kind of knocked out. Um, let me see. Yeah, so this okay to show you that I don't always expand my shapes. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. just a straight. That's all I did was I duplicated this shape, made it white, and put it on either side to give it that like show that it's kind of um, breaking through that badge. Um, these shapes you'll see, these um Back textures. to the skull, he says. Back to the skull. Yeah, it's just, it's just, oh, wait, yeah, well, you have the, That's what we started in Yeah, the skull. it's okay. You know what? We're I learning kinda, way more kinda, about the skull. I agree, actually. Um, we don't need the skull. We're over the kingdom of the crystal skull. Yeah. No, no more references that. to that movie. Um, do you guys have any particular questions on how I made anything in this illustration? Because it's me looking at this, you're layering shapes and you added uh, some of those brushes mm-hmm. from, is that uh, Retro Supply? I believe it was, yeah. Um, you can see those shapes here on this other layer. Um, yeah, it was Retro Supply. So these were some things that I bought from Dustin. Um, kind of like stippling, so stippling brushes. And I'm using those in this vector. Kind of just as like a shade. So it's either, you know... Right now, both shading options are like that's just a multiplier, right? Yeah, that's just a multiply gray on top of it. Um, yeah, I mean, these are all we can we can duplicate this and kind of dissect it. Can you life. just, yeah, like literally tear it apart? Let's see what you got here. Oh, outline mode, that too. Let's see, that's oh, yeah. all that's all uh, uh, out, um, so strokes, yeah, it's all on the outline, exactly. Strokes. And you Very can see how messy this is because of this, yeah. Yeah. You see? Like yeah, that's I see it. I see it. super messy. How long ago did you do this? Is it like two years ago, a year ago? It's been well over a year. From when you did this, would you say from where you are now, you design this completely differently or think things you do differently? No. No. I okay. would do this today just like I did back then. Um I'm gonna start deleting some shapes here. Just yeah, so, so you can start seeing. So this is actually just a line with a brush applied to it. And that's the case. Really easy stuff. It's cool. That's the case for all of these. Like, so this goes back to like what I was saying before. Like, this is literally just shapes. Like, yeah. Design is simple. It's it's what you can do with yeah. these abilities you have. If I can, uh, you can so, quote me on that if you want. If you look at this, this is just our audio. So if you ever want to see your preview of your line work, you just hit Command Y, um, and this shows that. These lines look weird. They're not really touching anything. But you have to remember, this shape has a huge stroke on it. So why, you, why, why don't you outline it so you know it's precisely lined up? I just never really got to the point where I needed to perfect it yet. But you could hmm. do that. If I want to expand and expand the stroke, I can go here and see that. Here's a fun fact. If you have something with a gradient on it and you expand it, it'll split the gradient up into like a million points. Yeah, it's the yeah. worst thing ever. Don't do um, that. Don't expand gradients what, accidentally. If you do anything with 3D effects oh. it, on a curve, oh, it's the worst. Insane, because it like saves every little shade yeah. difference. If any of shade. my uh, coworkers are watching, we had this one client that was a a gasket company, 
And not only did I illustrate, like they sold like 250 different types of gaskets oh my God. for like refrigerators and like fr- fridge doors and stuff. Yeah. Um, and I, so I had to illustrate. Let's say you like cut the gasket and looked at it like. Oh, so it's on. like a, it was, I had to draw yeah. the illustrate like the outline, and then I had to create that into a 3D. It was a mess. <laughs> she says, Don't use gradients in Illustrator. Simple fix. Sometimes you gotta. And there's sometimes I've that? been working on uh, Joe. Oh. Joe right over there. Uh, I've been working on, on stuff with that had a gradient, and I'd expand it and not realize it, and then I'd go to outline mode and see it has like the billion points. And that's why it helps to drag over and make a copy of your piece of artwork like every two seconds. So I just want to show you guys one more thing. Um, this, when this shape was a stroke, it was right on top of this shape, the white. They were both the same exact position. And the difference is that this stroke is on the inside mm. of the shape, whereas the other one was right on top of it. Um, just get that layering up in and out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like, just increase the point size on it so you can like see what we're talking about. Yeah, see, it's just going in. Yeah, um, it's great stuff. I learned about that in college too. Yeah. I never knew you could change direction of strokes. It's crazy. Um, so I'm gonna expand that too, just so we can see it. And now our now to merge like those two together. Um, get one piece of art. Merge these two. Yeah. Um, right here. Right? Yeah. Do you not use Merge? Dude, it's funny. That's I crazy. haven't used Merge. Um, oh. Merge uh, is great. I could have done that with this layer, this shape too. Let me see. Is that locked? Merge is great for when you have a logo and you don't want people to mess with it, so you merge everything out. So if they try to like move stuff, it won't work. Because mm-hmm. every shape is its own individual shape. Love that. Yeah. Um, text your yourself. Now I'm going to delete these. I'm just deleting and getting in here. Um, actually, let's keep these here because I want to show you so I made this like sun flare. That's what those are called, right? Oh, man, so- solar flares. Solar flare. What is the thing? Lens flare. Lens flare. Lens flare. The thing uh, you never you want to call- do in graphic design. Yeah. Lens flare. But if you do it in an illustration like this, and it's a guy in space, kind of makes hey, sense. Hey, rule number one of design: there's no rules. Use lens flare. Um, lens flares. Just do it. So these are just three um, hexagon hexagons. Um, oh, what? I needed to count the shape. I needed you to count what a hexagon looks like. like. I know what a hexagon looks oh, like. Oh man! Um, <laughs> Look at that Venn diagram we got going. That on is nice, too. right? So Dude. these are just these are actually dark shades of gray, with a fifty sc- of them. A screen transparency on it, and actually, let me show you guys the difference between what a multiply does. Oh and yeah, a, yeah. This is this is cool. And the shades of overlay too. Yeah. Well, right now we're just gonna do. You could just use the same color too and see what you get. Command D. Um, I'm gonna go slightly brighter on these. How many viewers do we have? I still got these. Yeah, yeah, you don't worry about it. We still do. Very consistent. Right. It's nice. And then I'm gonna do look at them here. Um, the reason I have them like going outside the shape is so you can remember what shades of uh, gray they are. Up here we're gonna do multiply. Um, and as you can see that the darker the gray, the darker the orange color yeah, it, it's below the It multiplies gray. the colors together right? so you get an overlay. Now these, you can consider this um, shadows, right? Ba, ba, ba. And then consider these to be highlights. Nice uh, default font you got there. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to make these screens instead of multiply now it does the opposite right when you're doing a screen the darker the gray the lighter the color and vice versa so, so when you're illustrating you don't just pick colors you rely on these uh, uh multiplies and screens to make your shadows and highlights mm-hmm. oh that's crazy yeah. yeah that's interesting so down here when i'm doing this solar flare these are three these are actually shades of dark gray they don't look like dark gray but as you can see here, oh, yeah. it's a pretty dark gray. Um, those have, yeah, those have screen transparencies on them. Um, so I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna delete some of these stars. Oh, those stars are not separated. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's that for this illustration. These are all separate. Yeah. Um, 
so f- as we wrap things up, is there anyone uh, as as we continue on with this? Anyone have any uh, questions or comments? Anything else we should cover while we got Kevin here, in terms of Adobe Digital Illustration, anything like that? Keep this open ended here. Yeah. Let us know. I know there's a delay, so be waiting a second. But, yeah, sure, um, no problem. So yeah, we've we've covered a lot tonight. Yeah, like I iPad Illustration so. with uh, with Procreate. Is there any? Do you want to like call out these things that we used? Yeah. Some people, okay. In cool. case people um, who just got in here. Uh, so we started off the night with an iPad Pro, uh, 10.5 uh, size, with the Apple Pencil, um, and I was demonstrating um, digital illustration, just like sketching using an app called Procreate, which is, I believe, $10 in the App Store, and it is awesome. It's completely, I mean, I've only had it for like a month, but it's, it's completely uh-huh. its completely taken over um, like my sketchbook. It's like insane, I, it's insane. I, I used to carry this around for my illustration tools, which oh, is man. already, like, that's a disaster. A disaster, look, my track pad's all gross. Um, and all of that is has now become this. Uh, it's insane. Yeah. Like, just watching you for over the last month, it's fine. You'll get it. Yeah, it's fine. Um, <laughs> man. See? I, you, yeah, I don't so, have to deal with There's this. so many utensils. So, so many things. <laughs> so many things. And now um, it's just an iPad Pro and an Apple Pencil. Yeah. And you demonstrated all these little, uh, all the pens and all the effects and all the layering you could do yeah. and, and procreate. And the fact that it automatically records your drawing, awesome. Um, what else? Who's We Make Songs? He said the man yeah. without the glasses is nice. Oh. Oh, wow. What does that mean? What are oh, you trying man. to say? We make songs? What's that about? <laughs> um, I appreciate that. My so, name's Kevin. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we we worked on an iPad using Procreate. Uh, what's the other app you mentioned for... Uh, it was like a screen share, not a uh, screen share. What was that? Um, you mean vector drawing? No, no, no. It's for for uh, duplicating your screen. Oh, oh, AstroPad. AstroPad. So AstroPad is pretty much like a Cintiq, um, the Wacom Cintiq, which was like um, mirrored your screen, and it pretty much is yeah, it's pretty much replacing your Wacom tablet. Have you um, ever made a crow sound? A crow sound. A crow sound. I don't know what that has to do with design, but is that an audio thing? Like, is that like a call? Sound. <laughs> it's like a call, and you want us to call for you. You know this. Oh one? yeah, he says like caw caw. Oh, caw. Do, should we do our there best like crow impression? Uh, you, you know can what? you can try. Uh, you know what? This isn't an audio podcast. This is a design right. podcast. Okay. So we're we're professionals so, here. Um, I'm just gonna flip through some of these. Oh, here uh, from Wheeler, a list of podcasts, blogs, and Instagrams that you talked about in the video. Oh, um, okay. I don't know if we can list them all off, but I mean, what have we talked? Let about? Let me mention. Yeah, so I know what she's talking about. Um, I mentioned earlier. The Perspective Collective podcast. Oh yeah, yeah. That's um, by Scotty Russell. Scotty's great. Uh, uh, it's I think his podcast is just called the Perspective Podcast. But I looked that up and it's hard to find. There's a, a lot of other perspective. So if you look up Perspective Collective, um, Scotty's awesome. It's a great podcast. Follow him on Instagram. Yeah, uh, he's he's great. Um, um, blogs other, and podcasts. I mean, let me uh, mention other podcasts that I, dude, I really like. Design matters. Debbie Des- Millman. Design matters with Debbie Millman. If you love design, um, if you like design, if, if you have an interest in design, mind, pull open my... uh, uh, Design Matters with Debbie Millman is the go-to podcast. Listen to it. She, she's it's a good start. Fantastic. Point. No, I yeah, mean, it's yeah, good. it's 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 a really good design podcast, and there's not okay. many really good design. Let me mention podcasts. a few others. So, Perspective Collective. Um, I'm going to mention some that aren't design related, but also awesome. Um, there's the Creative Pep Talk podcast with uh, Andy J. Miller, awesome. Um, he also has another one called Ask a Freelancer, also very good. There's Creatoring, which is uh, hosted by Zach Wilkinson and uh, Daniel Hare. Zach was in the uh, the chat earlier. Um, of course, there's the Creative pod- uh, Creative South podcast. Um, there's Obsessed with Design. That's a great one. Oh, um, Mackie Saturday was on. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was just listening to that yesterday. Yeah, That's yeah. Great. He spoke. Um, he filled in for somebody at um, Creative South. This oh, you didn't. You didn't yeah, offend me. We make songs. I was just uh, joking. Yeah. Um, let's see. I have a lot of entrepreneur podcasts. Oh, too. Design Recharge. Design Recharge, of course. But she has a show. It's like Design Re- Like that's her primary thing. Uh, Diane Gibbs, Design Recharge, every Wednesday. I believe every Wednesday she has a designer on her show, and it's like a like a webinar thing style thing. It's awesome. Um, there's a ton of other things like uh, 
how how I built this is an awesome podcast. That's about pretty much how um, CEOs yeah. and entrepreneurs um, built their. When we post these videos, I guess in uh, in the notes of the video or in the description, we'll list all this stuff. Yeah, but um, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. There's that one. Oh, That's man. pretty bad. Um, <laughs> Um, in terms of uh, blogs or anything? Oh, and of course, Adventures in Design. Mark um, Berkey. Mark Berkey. Uh, so, that one's a little brash, but uh, if you don't mind that, I mean, check it out. Um, hey, Joe, Joe uh, we're, we're just we're just talking about what we got. We're not, like, you know, setting hard, fast rules here. What are some other poc- uh, other things? Um, other even materials? Design Bloods. What I check every day is uh, brand new, uh, under okay. consideration for a great uh, uh, logo rebrand design yes. blog. Um, for whoever asked earlier about like what made you get better and our response was like just keep looking um, and just keep making one awesome it's not really it's a Chrome extension actually for um, for your browser it's called Muesli oh, and Muesli, yeah. do you use that? no I kind of got every day it. when I get into work I open up my browser and I spend like the first five minutes looking at this Chrome extension. What it does is really cool. On your sidebar, you can set whether or not you want it to f- like you could. It's a feed. Mm-hmm. It's a feed from anything from Vox to Dribble to Behance, um, and you get you can curate what sources you want it to feed in. Um, it's news sources. It's 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 mainly design things. Um, and it's a it's a great thing to it's a great way to start off the day. And honestly, books. You can never go wrong with books. Find a bookstore. Find there's a ton of really good design books. Uh, Unit Editions makes great design books. Michael Johnson just did a book, uh, five and a half, five and a half steps for branding. Five and a half. Mm. I can't say that. Um, literally, there's tons. Of, li- uh, design books are, are that's my favorite go-to source of inspiration over any website. Is always yeah. is always um, books. There's always that series of Stephen Heller. Uh, he's like stencil type and uh, 3D type, uh, vintage type. All these crazy ones. Another thing, there's if, a ton. If you can afford it, go to a conference. Oh, meet man. the people that you follow online. Yeah. It will change. It will like energize you and change your life. I just got back from the brand new conference a couple weeks ago. It's undoubtedly my favorite design conference. But you know, there's a there's a yeah. ton of them out there. You got Creative the, South, yeah. Weapons of Mass Creation. The we two that to. I those are the two that I've gone to for. Um, I've gone to. Got Adobe, those three times now. They got Adobe well, Max. Um, TypeCon is awesome. Um, How Design has a I think AIGA design. Ion Design has their first conference. I think it already happened, but that's going to be a new yeah. thing. So there's some. There's, I mean, there's so much they, out there, and what we say, it's not the go-to place. There's yeah. so much you yeah. can't go wrong. There's so much um, resources for design. Yeah. Um, and those conferences all vary in in price range. Yeah. Um, but like I, I've never, how design like Adobe Max is like a few thousand dollars. I'm never going to spend that for a yeah, conference. Yeah. I mean, you know? um, some of but, them are worth yeah, the the price. You know, uh, like some of the more expensive. Um, ones. Creative South. You know, if you get those are only a couple hundred bucks a ticket. Yeah. So I mean, if you can afford it, I would say absolutely do it. See, long story um, short, there's a lot of blogs. There's yeah. a lot of things you could go um, to. There's there's a lot. So yeah, I mean, if you have any other questions about the digital illustration stuff that I didn't get to answer tonight, um, feel free to hit me up. Um, my Instagram is kev underscore green with an E at the end. Um, um, hey, you know, feel I'm free gonna, to DM me if you want. Here's um, here's a link for some of the best uh, design books. What do you got? Anything? I'm just gonna send some links out for people. Um, Perspective Collective podcast. Are you Perspective right Collective. Podcast, um, brand new creative pep conference. talk. Conference. I hope Brad new. That's not right. Brand new conference under consideration. What do you got? Um, what did I say? Uh, creative pep talk. Creative pep podcast. talk. Hmm? Podcast. Podcast. Um, we still got a decent amount of people. Nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. United Design Guild, do you want to like... Yeah, so uh, let's bring around home here. So, um, actually, let's start with you. So, okay. Kevin, what we just did, this is our first session. I'm, I'm glad you can join me here. Thank for, you very uh, much the, for The inaugural me. UDG Live. Um, 
So again, you're a designer and illustrator. Where can we find you on the internet for um, people that want to know see. more? My <laughs> Jed just got here. Way to show up late, Jed. Really, dude? It's wow, 10.30. Dude. We've Come been on, on here man. for two and a half hours, Two and a half Jed. hours. Jed, I'm air. looking at you, bro. Ooh, that's out to you, Jed. Um, anyway, you can find Look me. Look at this. Um, my personal site is green, with an E at the end, green, E, design.co. Um, so greendesign.co. Um, I guess my primary sort uh, my Instagram is Kevin uh, sorry my Instagram is Kev underscore green with an E at the end my Twitter is Kevin Green straight up no spaces no numbers no. Yeah. Um, and yeah. again uh, in the video description I'll have all links to this stuff so you don't have to like memorize yeah. it now um, um, yeah follow him on Instagram go to his website check out his work uh, if you're interested in what I do uh, it my website is just my name Mike Sulik dot com um, S U L I C K. You can find me on Instagram. Same thing Mike Sulik. Uh, no spaces or underscores or anything. Mike with a Y. Mike yeah. Mike with a Y. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, um, and then of course why we're all here is the United Design Guild. Uh, United Design Guild dot com is the website. Uh, we'll have the archive for all the streams and everything on there. You can keep up to date on all the events. Uh, if you become a member, you get this crazy pin. Look at how nice that is. A That's nice crazy. A nice pin. You'll get discounts to all of our workshops. You'll get access to all of the archive stream videos. Yep. Um, so yeah, UnitedDesignGuild.com. We're on Twitter at UDesignGuild. We're on Instagram at UnitedDesignGuild. And on Facebook, I think it's slash United Design Guild, but it might show up as Art Directors Club of New Jersey right. prior to the rebrand. We can't change it. It's dumb. Um, yeah. If Facebook have, is weird. Facebook's... Oh, man, I don't get it sometimes. If you have any uh, feedback or comments or anything about this stream that you want to uh, tell us about, streaming at uniteddesignguild.com. Send us an email. We'll we'll check it. We'll, we'll, we're will we'll going to try to make this uh, cool. a monthly thing into a bi-monthly thing. We're going to get a ton of great streamers. The next one we have lined up is going to be fun. It'll be again towards the end of October, probably the last week. Not set in stone yet, but it... I mean, even the list that I have right now of streamers coming up, it's going to be great. Yeah. So, it, and again, check us. I'll post a ton uh, before we go live and become a member. You'll get access to all the videos. So you don't have to catch it live. You can always go into our mm -hmm. archive. Um, I don't know. This, yeah. So we got anything else? That's it. Any other last uh, comments from the... Uh, hey, yeah. Will, uh, while, while we close up, is there anything else I should mention? Cool. Let us know. Jed came from a wedding rehearsal. You ever design a business card? Who has that? Uh, we make songs. Uh, we make songs. All the I time. have designed <laughs> hundreds, literally hundreds Dude. of business cards. It's actually a large portion of my. There day was something job. funny in at the brand new conference. Someone was like, uh, "Yeah, we're designers. We just make business cards." It's like a little yeah. joke. Yeah, like that's um, kind of what everyone thinks of when like, "Oh, designers, yeah, I make logos and business." Because cards, I mean, your so. client needs their logo. And it's usually paired with a business card. Yeah, um, it's just part of the thing. I've designed literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. And none of them make it oh. into my portfolio because it's business cards. But, yeah. What? Tino from Montclair is watching. Remember him? Tino. Yo, what's up, man? We what's used to live up? in... Dude, we used to live in the same town, like, blocks apart. And I never knew right? it. Yeah, it's wow. crazy. Weird. Yeah, dude. Uh, every month, uh, it'll become bi-monthly. Check in. This is gonna be awesome. Oh, Tino. So you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually, yeah. that's right. Yeah. What's up, man? Dude, Tino. What's up? You should have said Martino. I know. Martino. Martino. I call him Tino. Whatever. Um. Um. Yeah. So this uh, again, this is uh, the rebrand with United Design Guild. We're gonna try to push some more things like this. So we're gonna yeah. do all the workshops, but all this live streaming stuff. We're gonna do a, a ton of uh, ton of stuff like this. I think all of them are gonna be. So what I have lined up is very varied too. So you're. Uh, into your digital illustration. We got some typographers, graffiti artists, cool. uh, package designers, uh, tons of cool stuff. So every stream I'm gonna try to make unique and we'll learn different things from each one. Um, other than that, I think uh, I think that's it. Uh, do we got anything Anything else I wanna go say? I mean, yeah. morals of the story, let life lessons, don't do drugs, uh, don't drink and drive. Um, Coke Zero sugar is not good. I yeah, miss regular that's... Coke Zero. I'm really <laughs> upset. Um, what What's your favorite Oreo at the moment? Oh, well, I just mentioned this before. They got the new flavor that's cookie butter. It was it blew my mind. But prior to that, 
was the other seasonal flavor, apple pie. Mm. Dude, apple pie was amazing. It was refreshing. You can get pumpkin spice now, too. I'm not a fan personally. Joe mm. likes it. Um, pumpkin spice was okay. It was too mild, I feel. I like the apple one. Anyway. That one was really good, but... Um, we're rambling. So... Hey, this is any it. Any last questions? That, no. That's uh, it? Yeah. We, ch- ch- yeah uh... Ch- ch- uh, 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 uh bye. bye. Hey, bye, everyone. Again, right. again. UnitedDesignGuild.com. If you become a member, workshop things, you get this... Look at this pin. Dude, can we, like... Look at that, like, the the, the backing. The it backing stays secure. It doesn't get stuck in your lips. <laughs> <laughs> it's just great. And if you become a member, you get this pin right now. We got little pins. We got <laughs> little pizza. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, we got little people. Okay, so uh, that's it. We're just being funny now. All right, guys. Uh, check out the stream archive. Good night. Uh, I'll post for the next one. It'll be end of October. Thank that's you all it. for tuning in. This is the inaugural one. We went for two and a half hours. Thanks for sticking is with that us. 19, oh, 15, 15 yeah, of you. Yeah, this is not bad. We oh, had man. a consistent like 10 to 15 Thanks, the whole guys. time. That's not bad. I wonder how many people had us on mute the whole time. Everyone. Probably everyone. I mean, I would do that. So <laughs> um, that's it. Thanks for coming out. This has been fun. Peace. See you soon. Goodbye, Space Cadets. Now, as we go to OBS and show how all this works. Oh, Oh, man. man. No, no, no. Go to it and do do? stop recording, (laughs) stop streaming. Bye, guys. Stop streaming, stop recording.